don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. be able to join us this week as we explore another single source location gem a sunstone with unparalleled levels of clarity yet at its atomic level copper infusions that gift this most remarkable natural gem the some of the brightest colors the gem world has seen it's attracted the likes of the GIA and six years ago it attracted us on a pilgrimage to the far reaches of Outback Oregon. This week, we're gonna be ending that six year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Jewelry maker. My name's Jenny Cleary. Thank you so much to Carol and Mark for the morning show. We're going to ease you in to the afternoon with some utter beauties. Let me introduce you to the only strand like this I have ever, ever seen. If you're into crystal healing and you don't get this, I think you will bitterly regret it. If you're into your gemstones, if purple's your favourite colour and you don't invest in this phosphidiorite. I don't think you'll forget it. It's coming up at three o'clock as I want to own and I am obsessed. It goes with jade though, doesn't it? So, you know, you knew I was gonna be obsessed with that and it's got massive uh, healing properties associated with it if you believe in that kind of thing. Now, we have got Alison Terry coming up in today's show. I wanna just tell you, we've got Aquapraise. If you don't know about this amazing gemstone, let me introduce you to a colour that is going to drive you wild. It's gorgeous and it's coming up for you in about 10 minutes time. A very, very exclusive gemstone. I've been emailing Jake and talking to Jake about this this morning. We're very excited to have this in the afternoon show. So if you've never seen it before, sit tight. It's coming up very soon. We have got AA graded amylite. Look at your jump ring kits. Have you seen Alison Terry's jewellery? 
mind-blowing. I know they showed it you this morning. I've shared it on my page. Danny shared it on his Facebook page. Uh, it, mine is uh, Jenny Cleary Presenter. Give, give me a like. Give me a like. I'm going to be running some competitions after lockdown. So we have got some amazing value kits. They're all going at fantastically low prices. Maybe you want to have a bit of a try of... Um, Chainmail for the first time. This one here is at four o'clock. The silver one is just next to it here. And you've got some amazing amethyst in there too. They're, honestly, the prices for these are just fantastic. Brand new amethyst there. Brand new kits, of course, never seen before. We've got such a lot to share with you today. There's three ways that you can shop with us. You can get on the phone lines and dial the number on your screen just there. It's a free phone number. Uh, Jewelrymaker.com if you want to do it online. Or, I'll tell you what, Dan, there's another way. There's a third way you can shop with us. There is. You can download it on your smartphone or tablet for free. You can download the app on your smartphone or tablet. PayPal, um, debit card or credit card uh, are how you make your purchases and there's a 30 day money back guarantee on everything. Let's have a look at the jewellery that Alison Tarry is inspiring us with today. The lady is amazing. Look, and these are all beginner projects, so please don't worry. Alison's going to take us by the hand and lead us through the techniques of chain mail. Now have a look. I love that. That is amazing. Oh, she's just brilliant, isn't she? Fan. Blooming. Tastic. Uh, then we've got, at the two o'clock, there's the amethyst uh, strand and, uh, ch and um, chain mail there. And they're sterling silver, by the way. How luxury. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Such a medieval, wonderful technique. I'm going to give you a little heads up on the Amalite that we've got coming up. This is a collector's gem. It's coming up at three o'clock for you. Gosh, are we going to get... We've got a lot today. We've got a lot to pack in. It looks like a shark's tooth, doesn't it? Well, it does come from under the sea in Canada, you know. Beautiful. A graded, double A graded Amalite, and they're all certified. So we've got lots of different price points for you. So hopefully we've got something for everybody's affordability ranges. Shall we kick off the show? Are you ready to go shopping with us? Now we know how. Let's go shopping. Come with us. Now, you know we've got a sterling silver a little bit later in your kit, but what about eye pins? We don't see a lot of sterling silver eye pins on the show. Uh, they're often saved for specialist silver shows. We snuck them in today for you. Eye pins give you that loop that you need to then continue a piece and add a drop, maybe add a, um, a shepherd's hook finding or something like that. that. You can make a shepherd's hook finding out of these really, really easily. All you need is a round nose plier and it could not be easier. Now you've actually got, these are 0.6 and you've got 30 of them. These are ideal for using for rosary links and you would only need not even half of that if you're using small gemstones. So you've got a lot of rosary links in here. So it could be that you want to get these just to half your time. You only need to put one loop on the other end and then link them all together. And also maybe you haven't been able to get hold of any sterling silver wire to do that. You've got it all done for you here. WXGP04 is your item code. 22 gauge, which is 0.64 millimetre. And they're only £4.95. That's 16 pence per eye pin. And when you know about exactly how much you spent on each eye pin, you can add that up. How much does that piece of jewellery cost you? How much does it owe you? How much should you sell it for? So you give yourself a little bit of profit, pay yourself for your time, perhaps make a living, perhaps pay for your jewellery making hobby. I was going to say habit. It's a bit, it's a bit of both, isn't it? Um, you know, all of that. Oh, first text in from Annie. Hi, Anne, you were shopping with us yesterday, weren't you? Good afternoon, all. Jenny. You look really elegant. Oh, it's all smoke and mirrors, let me tell you, Anne. Do I look very professional today? Thanks. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're gorgeous. Our Ruthie in West Midlands says, Afternoon, Jenny. Looking forward to a great afternoon. Thanks for being here. All at Jewellery Maker. Love, Ruth. Ruth, you're lucky. Thanks for being with us. 
we're not in this we're not alone you're with us too we're holding each other's hands uh, loads of you are coming through on this hi good afternoon to you all I know you've had a great morning here this morning on Jewelry Maker Hertrude McLean Sandra Andrew Christine three for you Sue in Somerset West Yorkshire Lynn Collector in Cornwall Nottinghamshire Essex Debbie and Hayley uh, loads of you there thank you so much more silver deals coming up for you I had to put that a bit close to me because I can't see um, loads 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 coming up for you Rosa Golda? Why do I always say it like that? I can't help it. Rosa, my a friend has got a little girl and she called her Rosabella and I absolutely love that name. It's so cute, isn't it? Two nice names. Yeah, Rosabella. I think it's beautiful and she is such a cutie. Now, yeah, you'd have, if your name was Rosabella, you'd have to go to Italy, wouldn't you, just to sit, hear them say Rosabella? Ciao bella, Rosabella. And we've got the exact same, but this time in rose gold for you. I think this will go with your phosphidiorite. Mm -hmm. It's actually phosphophidiorite, but I can't say that properly, so without my teeth feeling like they're going to fall out. So I will um, have to apologise for that. Rose gold, sterling silver eye pins. And remember, it's, the, it's about the integrity of your pieces, isn't it? It's about having quality. It's about having that, that ingredient in your jewellery that you can boast about. My jewellery has real gold and silver in it. And actually, that's, that's not just a, a great thing for the luxury of the piece. Also, for anyone who might be a little bit allergic. £6.95. Now, gold is more expensive. Oh, we got down to 4 95 Match the price of silver. Gold's more expensive. I was just about to say gold is more expensive than there is. But there's Danny, who's just actually blown that fish right out of the water. I'll tell you what, Danny. <laughs> It's awakened, Dini, he just said in my ear. Uh, Debbie, you've got yours, West Yorkshire, collector in Cornwall, Sandra. Hey, how's the weather everywhere? It's a bit, it, I drove through a, another thunderstorm, then it was a bit nice. Oh, gosh. Elle in the Shire, the place where I was born. Elle, I need to know what part of Gloucestershire you're from. Hi, Jenny and all at Jewelry Maker Towers. Looking forward to an afternoon of JM and chill. I love it like Netflix and chill. Any gemstones coming up in the app? Of course, Elle from my Shire. Any gemstones, Elle? Any gem? No, not just any. Not just any gemstones. We got this gemstone, which is Aquaprase, which we are so excited about. Do you know what? You might know, not know a lot about this gemstone. There's not many places that give this to you. And prices per carat are in their high thousands. I'm going to read a bit of an email out that Jake sent me earlier. And we've got, I mean, this, is, this has been a huge, amazing find. And actually... The chap who discovered this, sort of discovered it by accident, he took it during, the, he was in a mine and it was sort of on the side and they said, yeah, go on, you can take that. They all thought it was a form of opal. Well, actually it isn't. It's a completely new, save it, says Danny, save that information. Okay, I will, I will, I'll just save it. I'll save it, sorry. Don't get carried away, says Danny. All right, Danny, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's in one item's time. Let's give you the gold. Next. I'll try not to sing, I do understand, it's very annoying. The odd, the odd little word, though, is okay, right? Is it? Okay? I don't know. Now. <laughs> Here we go. We have got the gold on Sterling Silver, and this is luxury nine carat classic gold. I like this with garnet. Garnet and gold. Peridot and gold. I like that sort of Indian summer collective colours. I think they're very pretty together. I think classic gold goes with uh, the opals that we've got here because there's a gold tone um, that runs within these, if you can see. So I think that would be the chosen uh, precious metal. I think these are going to go great with pearls, of course. You know I only put luxury of pearls on very boring like that. Gemma Crow always uh, chuckles at me because I'm like, oh no, no, I can't mix those two together. I'm very, I'm, a, I'm just like it with food as well. I'm very boring like that. I'm so sorry. I just like my traditional roast dinners. I love a bit of beef, I do. Yorkshire pudding. Woo! My daughter's cooking me a roast for when I come home later. Her and a, yeah, her and the boy. 
Here we go. 4.95. You knew we were going there. You were lining up already. Sandra Sue, West Yorkshire, Julian Ayrshire, uh, Collector in Nottinghamshire, Rachel in Cheshire. We hope you're all well and, uh, and, and feeling fine, not getting too frustrated with all the crazy things that's going on. Because uh, I get wound up, I do. I get wound up, don't I, guys? It's all about being kind to all. And that's all I'm going to say. And if you're not kind to all, you need to go and have a little word with yourself. 4 95 <laughs> Thank you. Not really grown so gears. Don't, don't do it, Danny. Because I can't not say stuff, and I then end up getting in rows with people. I like, I can't do this. I've got to come on Facebook. Uh, someone had a go at me the other day for having nice nails. <laughs> and I was like, she was like, obviously been to the salon. No, I haven't. I've got bought one of them machines. They're, they're about two inches long. Oh, dear. I tell you what. <laughs> now, shall we? Do you know what will calm me right down? Because actually, it's a very calming gemstone to me. It's Aquapraise. We're very excited about this. Let me tell you, we're going to give you now. When this launched on Gemporia, there was huge hype about it. And do you remember our lovely Ray, who used to come here? She's done this amazing uh, little V. We call them video uh, VTs, little video clip, uh, and it's Ray's wonderful voice. I love that lady. She's gorgeous. Um, such an exclusive new to the industry, not new like today, that we've never seen Aquapraise before, a very new gemstone in the, in the gemstone world. In fact, let's invite you to the world of Aquapraise. The Blue Planet, captivating with its vast, sprawling oceans, powerful but serene, beautiful yet daring. Like us, our world is constantly changing. The tides rise and fall, roll and crash, some just frozen in time. Beneath the constant waves lies a tranquil natural beauty, diverse and harmonious. We bring you a discovery with timeless appeal and couture charm. A collection that is more than a grading system, more than the four seas. A stone that captures our world in a moment, a jewel with character, a gem with an eternal story. Aquapraise. So I emailed Jake uh, this morning actually. Uh, Jake is one of our wonderful gem experts uh, under the umbrella of course of Gemporia. He's fantastic. Now the whole of Gemporia has been going wild about this gemstone. We haven't had it before um, before we went. We came back in uh, with Gemporia, so it's been such an incredible learning curve for us. This new gemstone that nobody really knew what it was. The guy that discovered this went out, and actually, there's a, there was an association with Sorovsky. I think Sorovsky commissioned him to go out and, and just correct me if I'm wrong and um, and find them a new gemstone. They wanted a real gemstone they didn't want to just make it about crystal so they lent on this chap who, who found aquapraise and in the mine he was being uh, he, he was there and there was loads of opals and he, he happened to pick up this piece and said I, I like this now have a look at what we've got for you we've got three four amazing stones five amazing stones for you we're going to give you three in this hour now um aquapraise really is one of those fabulous gemstones that just gives us something, something else, something new, something exciting. It's beautiful, isn't it? Don't you think it's beautiful? So it's a new entrant to the world of gemstones. I'm, um, I'm just going to find. Um, I'm just going to. Th there's, there's lots of information that we've got from Jake that he sent over to us, and we're going to have a look at that in a second. But this is a gemstone. Now let me just read. Dan has got Dan has got some information on on you now. Now this gemstone is um, is absolutely taking the gemstone world by storm, and it's selling so so fast. Now Jake was telling me there was only one other place that he could find it, and I'll talk to you about. I'll read the email that Jake sent me this morning. Um, have a look at this for just now. So right here, this is all the hype behind Aquapraise. JCK Las Vegas 2017 gem that's selling like hot cakes and it really really is so Jake said to me that actually there is a um, I'm just gonna get some 
So it, it was Yarny, wasn't it? Um, it was a 2014 discovery. I'm just going to read what Jake sent me this morning. Uh, so uh, he's put... Um, now, there's, um, there's a little bit of information which Jake said was um, about Ernest Jones, the only other UK retailer we know of selling this gemstone. And they're selling it for... And now, Ernest Jones, we know, isn't, isn't the prices of Tiffany & Co. It isn't the prices of Cartier, is it? Here we go. You're seeing... £1,500 a piece of this incredible gemstone. Now, um, the Design Awards a few weeks ago, this gemstone won the best coloured stone over £5,000. And apparently we've got information on that as well. So this is the best coloured stone it won over £5,000 in value in the gemstone industry. So it's very fair to say this gemstone is creating some incredible hype. We're going to give you the biggest one here, which is 19.1 carats. So let's call it 19 carats, shall we? Just a little bit over. Now, I want you to look at the interest that you get when you look into the face. Now this is very big, but I'm actually having a little bit of trouble picking this up with my gem grabber because it's so large. What a beautiful color we're getting. What amazing swirls, we've only got six. If you love Larimar, if you love Paraba Tourmaline, you have got a gemstone that I just know in my heart you're gonna love. G-O-C, I-19. Now, these could be the same stone, couldn't they? Coloured stone jewellery over £5,000. And this, uh, so it won in its category, this gemstone. So it's uh, very new in the gem world. And already it's causing a humongous stir. Now, first one's already gone. This is a collector's piece. I, th I would make a big ring out of this and I would, I would get it valued. And maybe I'll take it to a jeweler's because it's one that I'm going to want to wear every day. Maybe I'm going to surround it by diamonds because it, it's worth it, isn't it? Now, very soon, I think we're going to see the likes of Cartier, Chopard, using this gemstone, Tiffany & Co. using this gemstone. Absolutely. Because there's something so different. It's makeup. So different. What a fantastic brand new addition to the jewellery maker world. This is Aquapraise, a gemstone causing a huge commotion. A gemstone that's going to captivate you at the minute it comes through your door. Just imagine opening this parcel. You've got something you've never seen before. If you've never ever had this gemstone from Gemporia before, or maybe um, here at Jewellery Maker, the first time you see it is, is the first time you're going to fall in love with this gemstone. There is something incredible there is something about Aquapraise. This is 30 by 20 millimetres and it's 69.95 today. You know that's not the price for this gemstone. Even in Ernest Jones, we are seeing, and Ernest Jones is, is more of an affordable, it's by no means on the lower end of, of you know, it's not ch a cheap jewellers. Ernest Jones is a, a more of a high street jeweller where, you know, it's a little bit more affordable. It's the only place other than Gemporia that we know of that, that is selling this gemstone in the UK. Down to the last three, did you think it was going to be that price? I think it's a fantastic Fantastic, fantastic investment. It's not even your price today. I don't know why we're doing this. How come you're taking the price down? We didn't discuss this. We just are. Okay, okay, fine. 49.95 and away you go. Just do it in a brooch. It was to make the most beautiful brooch. Look at the colour. There's only two left. GOC, I-19. This will sell out today. I don't think we'll see it again. Collector in Kent, Anita in Norfolk. Collector in Cornwall. Annette in County Durham. Another collector in Kent. It's, doesn't this, let's see that £5,000 piece again and have a look. Do we know what the carat weight is on that? So that is a, it is about double the carat weight. But look, look what you've got. It's so, so similar, isn't it? Please get this valued and make sure you get... Oh, do you know what? You don't even need to get. 
It comes with the certificate of authenticity. Now there is only one left, only one left, completely and utterly natural. There's three of you, Merseyside, Greater London, and Anonymous. If you don't check out your baskets, that is an amazing price for this gemstone. I was not expecting you to do that second price drop. I wasn't expecting it. Okay. A Marquise? Mm. I don't have a Marquise, but I have a... Hmm. I've got it. I've got it. She's, she's got it. Uh, now, Danny says, I, I'd encourage people to be very quick. Danny, I, do you know what? There's only two. Okay, okay. You've got your extended money back guarantee. What an amazing gemstone. How beautiful are the striations, the swirls, the formation, knowing this is natural, knowing this is from one place, knowing that this is a recent discovery, getting this right at the beginning of this gemstone's journey and knowing that it's causing such a huge hype in the gemstone industry. I think it's just a wonderful thing to have in your, and, and you know what, it's something you're gonna have in your collection that's gonna tell such a strong story. You can show everything we've just shown. It's all available on, on, on the website, on the Google. The Google, you know the Google. First one's gone, well done, collector in Cornwall. I, do you know what? I want a gallery wire this. 89.95 AWC I29. You've got 19 and a half carats, big carat weight, and he's going down again. I'm I'm delighted that you're getting these at this at these prices. Now, we're just waiting for that price, Danny. 49 pounds and 95 pence for your marquees. Uh, Alison in Flintshire. Alison in Flintshire, collector in Merseyside. Uh, it's a game of two players here. There's only one, and it's our Alison. Oh, Janet's in, collector in Essex in. Uh, oh, who's going to check out their baskets first? I can, I can imagine Alison's... Uh, that there might be a few, few bleep words going on while she's trying to check out her basket. £49.95, pence. AWC, I-29. Do you know what I like? Alison doesn't even have staff member in brackets, so she, so she hasn't gone through, as, so she's paying the same as you. Janet... Essex, Merseyside, Alison and Flintshire, you got to check out. There's too many of you for that last one. I don't think I've got the same, um, I haven't got any of the bags, so I don't know the... 16 carats. I love this one. I'm going to, um, I think we might have to call Alison. We'll let her check out her basket. She doesn't check it out. She'll get annoyed with you. She'll start calling her now. Now, I'm going to show you this on both sides. I think I'd have to have this as a pendant, so I'm going to flip it around. See what you think. Look at these colours. Look at the... Oh, gosh, it's so smooth. Wow. It's totally natural. Totally natural. Oh, I don't know, though, actually, because a ring would be nice, wouldn't it? It's, the only thing is, I love both sides of it. How many did you say we had? Sorry, Danny. Right, we've got quite a few of these. We've got 18 of these. I really like... Could you have a ring and have it at that side? You could, couldn't you? There's nothing to say you can't. Totally natural. Utterly gorgeous. Look. Look at that clouding. Beautiful. 16 carats of aquaprase, 30 by 15 millimetres. We're going to give you the price then, Alison, just to let you know, if you are trying to buy this one as well, we are going to call you in a minute. UPC I-96, 16 carats for 59.95. It's not your price. I can't believe we're starting at these prices. Right, so when I was researching this, so I was up early this morning, I was in bed, having a cup of tea, reading about this gemstone, emailing Jake, and I, I, do you know what? To see this gemstone, I thought we were talking high hundreds today. This is the first time I've done this gemstone. 49.95. I don't know what that was, but I liked it. I liked it. 
Annette, you've got yours, Cornwall, Kent, Lorraine, collector in Leicestershire, blah, 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 Leicestershire, collector in Merseyside, brand new caller, Janice in London, who's going to get theirs? £49.95. and pence. What an amazing gemstone. I do believe we've got Alison Tarrant. Alison, have you been trying to buy this, uh, this uh, gemstone today, my darling? I might have been chopping. Did you, did you get it? Did you, get, did you check out in time? No. Oh, I, I'm, I'm ha definitely having this one, though. Sorry, I've got my helper with me. You need to check out your basket, Alison Tarry, for this one. Um, he's a gorgeous helper, our favourite kind of helper, actually. What was <laughs> it about this gemstone that's mesmerised you? Have you seen it before, Alison? No, I haven't. No, I spoke to Danny earlier, and he mentioned it, and I was thinking of something else entirely. And I'm like, well, I've got some of that somewhere. It's not. It's not the one I was thinking of. Um, and I'm trying to think what I'm thinking of because it, it it was a, a it's a, um, it's a praise it's a something praise, praise but it's not the apple praise. Christ praise. So no wonder I couldn't find it. This is stunning, isn't it? Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And I I'm with you on that one for a ring. Hang on, sorry, I'm just just manoeuvring you so I can see the PC. She's behind trying me. to check out a basket. That's what she's doing. This one, don't you uh, don't you worry about Alison. Forty nine ninety five. Half the stock has gone. UPC I ninety six. To know Alison that you've got a gemstone that is now it, there's a huge rumble of thunder. In, in terms of the hype and gossip and excitement around this gemstone in the gemstone world. Now, there's not been many opportunities for us to be at the beginning of that hype in a gemstone's journey, has there? So this no. is really exciting for us. We're right at the beginning of this gemstone's popularity. And it's only uh, it, because it only, it was discovered, in, it was 2014, but six years is a very short time in gemology. Yeah. It's a very, very short time. It's only just really starting to cause this incredible hype. To be at the beginning of this gemstone's journey, to have a piece for 49.95, to me, I think that's super exciting. It, it's incredible. Actually being in... Sorry, sorry, I was just checking my checkout had gone through. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not shopping. I'm, not, I'm working. I'm not shopping. Um, <laughs> this is... It's so exciting. And I, I want to make a sterling silver wirework piece with that as the centre. It's going to look amazing. I want to patina it so you've got that. Um, it, it, I don't want to have the bright silver with it. I want yeah. the darker tone with it because I think that it'll set the gemstone off even more but i think they're incredible they? absolutely stunning the colors the size the feel of this when you actually get yeah. this home and you feel it it feels so smooth it's lustrous i love that you're getting all these incredible it's like uh, waves crashing against the rocks like sea <laughs> foam here and i just think it's beautiful it's gorgeous and I think it's so aptly named. I know, I know the aqua is, is kind of the colour, but, but you're right. It's got that seascape feel to it. Mm -hmm. So we have pictured as Jasper, but this is like, this is like um, seascape. It's, it's just amazing. I could imagine this with some Larimar. That's exactly what I was saying. I think it's the it's if you love Paray Tourmaline and yeah. you love Larimar, this is your perfect gemstone because to me it gives you all the things that you love about those gemstones, both of them in one gemstone. And and I don't mean in the chemical composition or makeup of them, I mean visually. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely, absolutely. And and you've just reminded me because I've got some Pareva tourmaline and I can imagine a piece of that in with this as a, yeah. an accent within absolutely. that wire work piece would look superb. Absolutely. Well, I think there was a little bit of talk because they couldn't decide when they were looking at this gemstone without sort of putting it under analysation. They thought, is it opal? Is it a form of Pareba? Um, yeah. And then they, they analysed it and saw that actually this gemstone, where's it come from? <laughs> because it's it's nothing we've seen before so it was a really great i mean it was a it was a a, a light bulb moment in gemology it, it must have been a super exciting time because mm. like you say how how much undiscovered is there in this world exactly you know? we don't know we don't know because we're right yeah. at the beginning of the journey and i love that i love to say We've got it now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna give you another one now, and I think, Alison, you might, you are logged in, aren't you? Because I think yeah, you you're gonna want be. this one. You're gonna want this one. You're gonna want it. Okay, this is, this is going to be. Do you know what, Danny? That's not even. Danny's just told me the price. It's not expensive. 
so I want you to look at this one has the probably the purest color they're all beautiful this one has the most incredible that is just that's it is like a parade baton look at what I'm showing can you see that Alison because you're about don't wow. swear <laughs> how beautiful is this that is amazing. So it's just popped up on my screen. Isn't that that way round? It's got to be that way up for me. Yeah. So you've got that sort of sea. You've got that surf coming in. You've got that little bit of beach at the bottom. Absolutely stunning piece. And then you've got the clouds going off into the sky. I love that. I love it. But you know what I can see in here? The moon there, just here to me. That's the moon oh, yeah. reflecting on the water. I'm obsessed. <gasps> I need, oh, there's only two. I really want this. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I need a piece of this, this gemstone. The more I see it, the more I'm in love with it. We've got one more piece in this hour. Oh, no, we wow. have got... Can we do them all? Ah, we're going to do them all because everyone's loving them so much. Why not? Okay, Alison Carey, yeah. get ready again. I've got the cabochon in front of me here, Danny. Is that the one you want? 4.35 carats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. And it's an oval. It's beautiful. How many have we got? Mm -hmm. Because I think if you wanted, okay, we've got 14 of these. Um, you're going to make earrings out of this. Now, purity of colour again, I'm going to, I'm going to, it's wow factor. So just be mindful. Look at that. <gasps> it's going under £20. You need to get on the phones now. This one will sell out in about, why is it going under £20? This is ridiculous. This is brilliant. If these don't sell out, please reserve me one. Right, I'll give wow. you guys about five minutes. If this doesn't, <laughs> Danny went, yeah, good luck with that. Sorry, I'm squealing. It's so annoying for you at home. I know that. That would make a beautiful <laughs> ring, an exceptional pair of earrings. Are you? Um, if we can hear, it's Alison Terry tapping in. You need this, Alison. It's beautiful. That is that is amazing, <sighs> isn't that it? Gorgeous. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Is it so gone? Alice. Oh, it's gone. Sorry, you missed out. Sorry, darling. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We... <laughs> what a gemstone. <laughs> I loved how Ray did the whole aquaprate, like, because I know she, she is a massive fan of this gemstone as well. Um, mm. Right, I'm going to give to you some more. I've just taken, which number, Danny? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You're going to love this shape. Now, Alison, talking <laughs> about, um, you're going to love this shape a very lot. It's a pear shape, but it's an elongated pear. And I think um, in a ring, medieval style, and definitely if you darken, if you oxidize your silver, this would be, oh my word. You oh, wait I've got to have see the this. Color. You Sorry. wait to see the color. Oh. I love, love elongated pears. Yeah, I, they, I, knew, I knew as soon as I saw this, this is, this is it's beautiful. <gasps> oh, no. 29 this is fabulous i love today 29.95 ixc i49 <laughs> uh sorry there's a technical fault with alison at the moment uh, <laughs> 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 love it uh, that was Alison furiously tapping buy it now buy it now um, oh you missed i'm sorry Alison you didn't get that one I can't oh, see my names because they're coming through. That's just my strip, that. Yeah, I hope we get some more for you. I really do. That was gorgeous. Well, it is gorgeous. Sorry. Is that you having a tantrum there, throwing some things across the room? No, no, that was, yeah, that was the PC trying to get away because <laughs> I want to do something like, I oh, want to dear. do something like that with one of those. Let's see. Let, oh, that's, yes, that is it. That's the design. Yeah. Oh. That or in one of my daggers. Yeah, well, you know I'm a fan of your daggers. Now. I can't even get hold of this. Give me Right, Alison, it's a Marquise. I know you've right. missed out on a lot of these. This is another one you're going to fall in love with. Oh, my word. Oh. It needs no introduction. Look at this. Look. Look at the colour. That is beautiful. It's so antique looking. Oh, I love it. Look at the inclusions. Alison Tower is very quiet right now. It's sold out at $29.95. Alison, back in the room, Alison. Alison's, ah! Alison's unavailable right now. That, ah! It's like... 
<laughs> Alison, did you miss out? Did you miss? There's one left. There's one left, Alison. Oh, quick! I'm gone. <laughs> Who can you put my names up, Danny? Uh, there's one left. There's one left. Where did I get that from, Danny? Where did I get it? You got it. Number 29, 29, 29. Don't hang around, round here, folks. Oh yeah, well. 0.75 pair cut. I uh, don't know, at 31 maybe? <laughs> Wait there. First, we need to do this one. Okay. okay. This is so exciting I to know, be in at the, at the start of the gemstones jewellery. It, it's, just, it's, it's just incredible. Isn't it? You never imagine you can do this. I mean, when I started making jewellery, you know, I never imagined I'd work, work with the, the big five. But to actually be in at the ground floor of a brand new gemstone, okay, it's been around for a couple of years, but but in jewellery make in in jewellery making terms, this is a new gemstone. Well, you know, it's very young. In gemology, we can trace gemstones back beyond the Bronze Age. You know, this yeah. is a new gemstone. It's fresh. Look at this gorgeous colour. This is our most affordable so far. And look at the purity of colour. The most gorgeous drop earrings with a pearl on the end. They would be delightful with your argentium. Incredible set Ooh, yeah. into your into your um, bezel sets. There's two left. I would do it with my. Uh, my fine silver, I would do it with, uh, because you could do that with your silver clay, make a bezel set, put a, yeah. oh, it's beautiful. Two left. Jackie. If Kessler, you've got any of the gallery egg. wire, it would go perfectly 100%. with the gallery yes, wire. it's ideal for that, isn't it? Because you can leave the back then for the light to come through. Absolutely, absolutely. Isn't it beautiful? One left that and I've got McLean, it. Stephanie, Melissa and Meg. Um, lots of you are going to miss out. Who's going to take it first? McLean, Stephanie, Meg, Me Melissa the, is the answer to that. Oh dear me, dear, dear me. Basketeers won't prosper in this one, says Bruce. You've got to get in. It's not like the supermarket. <laughs> no time for umming or ahhing here. Now this is so cute. If, if I could get three of these, I would. But I, there's 18 and I'll tell you for why. These, these are marquees, and I think three next to each other in a ring in would a ring. be just stunningly beautiful. You've got half a carrot. So if you had three... It's going... Sorry? It's going under ten... Are you mad? You're going to get done for that. <gasps> Four. I want three of them. Just buy three. If you know it's going under ten, of course you would. Three in a ring would be the I don't, mm. engagement ring. This is really special. This is a really sp ridiculous price. It's totally natural. Totally. Sorry, only dogs and cats can hear me at the moment. I'm <laughs> so sorry if I'm squealing, but I can't believe I can't get over this. This is ridiculous. Half a carat finger. Half a carat diamond. Yes, please. It's a big carat weight. Annette has got. Five. McLean has three. Claire, Sharon, Collector and Kent, and Antoinette and Belfast. If you don't check out baskets, you have missed out. Aquapraise. Elle in the Shire. What a fabulous gemstone. I love how just a single gemstone can give you so many different images. Coastline, skyscape, under the sea. Stunning. Elle in the Shire. Mwah. You're right. We're so excited about this. Four left. Three left. Can we put my... I don't know why I'm tapping my iPad because it's not a... There we go. Alison in Flintshire, you need to check out. Two, one left. It's between Alison, Tarry, and she took it. <laughs> now, so I had in number 31 a pair. The purity of colour here is exceptional. And again, I want to see little stud earrings, but there's only five of them. Well, let's tell oh. everybody what the price is pretty early then, because I think these are going to be... You're an... <laughs> You're an incredible person. Um, <laughs> he's Danny, bonkers. He's bonk. Us. We're going to get into. We're not going to get into trouble for this, no. Just so that I know. No, we're grand. No, no okay. Danny is, but we're not. No, Danny says even he's not. He's been given his permission. So, no one is any kind of. Uh, he had to triple check them. Apparently, this is the last thing I'm going to get in trouble for this weekend. <laughs> Apparently, I've got a whole host of things waiting. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? The 
This will be a footnote in the trouble I'm in, apparently. It's gone, of course. <sighs> I'm, I don't know how I feel right now. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not sure how I feel. Right, we're going to recap. We've had one it bounce back. Ated. We've had one bounce back, have we? Is it only one? The great big one. Yes, the one that Alison got. Alison, you got this one. Yeah, 16 carats, and it's in. It's this one here, yeah? Okay, we've had... Somebody had multiple amounts in their baskets. I think there was three in a basket. Love and their that. basket has bounced back. It's the only one we have available. Every other one has sold out. Is that correct, Danny? We're just double checking anything else bounced back. That is just incredible. Only one we have available. I'm in love. Every That's other it. one has I'm sold out. Is that correct, Danny? It's on my, it's on my top list. Sorry, I felt like I was in a nightmare listening to my own voice then. <laughs> am I awake? I am, aren't I? That's okay then. I went to bed in a bit of a funny sit situation last night, didn't I, guys? We were all texting each other. <sighs> yeah, Dan, you replied to me at 3.30 a.m. Yeah. This is how excited we've been about Aquapraise. 49.95 it's the only one we have still available you need to be quick but i have unchecked baskets on this tom in lincolnshire lynn in tyne and Ware, angela collector in leicestershire merseyside janice in london meg in cornwall 49.95 for this it's the last one left three everyone's going to be different you might get more aqua in yours you might get more of that wonderful sort of sea foam uh, it's just wonderful isn't it how many have i got left You've got to be quick. We've got eight in baskets. There's not. A, there's too many of you there. Every other one has sold out and gone. I've got Lynette, Tom, Lynn, Angela, Collector in Leicestershire. Leicestershire. Where's that? Leicestershire. Uh, McLean is in. Janice, you've got yours. Alison, Tarry, tapping in. You tapping in, Tarry? Uh, McLean is in. Janice, you've got yours. Alison, Tarry. Oh, not again. Sorry. Oh. Uh, McLean. <laughs> no! Oh. Stop, I feel like I'm in a nightmare. Lady Terry, sorry, you were tapping in. No, no, sorry, I was just going to say, I can imagine this as the centre of a, a cuff bracelet as well, going up and down your wrist, the, the narrow way would going go up and down your around? wrist. That would way look around. amazing. I tell you what it would look nice with, and I've, I've had, I don't know whether I'm allowed to say this, Danny, sorry. He, d he did let he did let slip something was coming up on the show and if you had any um, silver that you could put this with yes. it would be incredible. Absolutely, we got silver. We one of your kits has silver in it too, doesn't it? Now, oh, I feel all jittery inside. I've got like um, butterflies in my tummy from this. <laughs> it's good. that was great, wasn't it? I feel like I've been at Alton Towers. <laughs> On that horrible ride that you know I hate, don't look down. And I'm like, what have I got on this for? Well, I had plenty of time in the queue to turn around and go, but I didn't. Now, <laughs> the first kit that we're going to show is the sterling silver one with oh. the amethyst. Now, when we got into this building, let me tell you, Tom and Carol were going crazy for your jewellery. Carol oh. actually t um, t called me from down the corridor and went, Alison Tarris jewellery, OMG. And I said, I know, <laughs> she's amazing. Um, now, talk to us about, because uh, it's a chainmail kit, talk to yep. us about your relationship with chainmail. How long have you been doing it? Is it something mm. you've always loved? Chainmail, I started making jewellery as an adult. Um, way back when, 20 odd years ago, whatever it was, um, child, and I started then. with chainmail. And I thought, I'm good. This is it. I'm gonna. I love chainmail. And then I started um, back in the day. I kind of moved on to wire work because I found the freedom with the wire work, as I thought back then, um, was much better. Now I think this is going to be like me revisiting seed beads, which I did three or four years ago. And I've gone in a whole different direction. You grow as a designer. And I think now, going back and do it, I've, I've done bits of chain mail all the way through Jewelry Maker. I've, I've demoed bits. But, but going back and doing a bit more chain mail, I've suddenly gone, well, actually, I can think outside the box with chain mail as well. And, and I'm, I've loved it. I, I mean, I've kept it fairly basic, this one. 
um you know hopefully i'll get some more going down going down the line um but even just reminding yourself i mean this is just an amobius bracelet the amethyst is to die for and and it's five rings in wow. in in one amobius and how statement does that look for a sterling silver bracelet you know what 50 60 pounds oh gosh easily and you know something people want to buy chainmail because it's yep. it's one of those traditional techniques and it's one that we all love it's definitely one of those sort of favored techniques isn't yes. it? it it is and it's one of the techniques um that it's very hard to do wrong so long as you can close a jump ring neatly you can chain mail to a very high standard yeah exactly it, and, it, and it, once you've learned that once you've learned that going down yeah. the line there's no stopping you absolutely you learn the weaves and and, and i know fleur, fleur said it before as well um you you can do as good chain mail as the best chain mailers in the world so long as you you ch shut your chain mails then that's it exactly that's your technique the, the rest is learning the weaves now i want to just give everybody a heads up i don't know if you've seen this phosphidiorite it's coming up <gasps> later the kids are coming up at 10 o'clock but i know that you are a massive mad fan of purple and i am a mad fan of crystal healing so i think there will be two of us going bananas over this strand <gasps> that beautiful in rounds as well and how ideal would this be with that chain mail kit stunning i was just gonna say could you put that with some amethyst because i think that would go amazing with that Absolutely. amethyst it's in fact i'd say it's rude not to yeah <laughs> oh. it's beautiful because that amethyst got that really rich deep color and mm. then you've got that toning color with it isn't that stunning oh alison i just love it and i've not really seen a lot of this phosphidia right and i certainly haven't seen it in the purity of color that we got it here so if anybody is massively into crystal healing i invite mm. you now because we're not really supposed to talk about crystal healing because it is a belief it's not a fact of course you know i believe in it you know danny doesn't you know that uh, dan is on the fence um, <laughs> and that's up to you know that's everyone's prerogative isn't it i'm mad into it you see so i get a little bit carried away with things like that but this is, has a very very strong spiritual mm. connection it's so spiritual that sometimes it just starts breaking out into music doesn't it yeah. did you hear that that was a bit um let's get it on <laughs> now alison my darling hold tight i've got something oh, we no. all love oh no that was because alison's gonna want the next one as well it's a swiss blue swiss blue swiss blue topaz <laughs> stop by take a little breath let's look at this amazing color like a Santorini sea Swiss blue topaz gives us that incredible powerful blue this is the second rarest topaz color we heard from Jake about London blue and Swiss blue being just right up there on the list now I'm going to turn this around for you because I want you to see it's got a really deep coulee that will really help you when you want to set this because it means you've got more anchorage. Look, at, don't you just want to elevate that stone? You'll notice when I see, you'll notice when I show you, when you see this sort of face on, that you're getting sort of sucked into a vortex of colour. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful we are guaranteeing you a minimum of 10 carats does it will it vary in shape and size it will vary in shape but the size will be a minimum of 10 carats i've got 10 carats here i've heard people get 15 carats 
It's beautiful. Now there is a strong temptation to put this with your gallery wire. I really love it with silver or gold. Alison, when you see something like this, I know that you're super excellent at setting these loose gemstones. What's the first technique that gives you a light bulb? The, uh, gallery prong setting. In whatever medium I'm doing, um, whether it's with um, uh, the new silver, the argentium silver, which <clears throat> which makes it so easy to create one of those settings, whether it's with your wire work, whether it's with smithing, that's my that's my immediate thought. I absolutely adore it. Um, I got to when we had when we had a lot on um, with Jake. A while ago, I got a couple of these stones. I mean, look at that. That's just phenomenal. You want to be able to show off that depth. You don't want to hide it. You, you know that you're looking down into it, but you also want that full 360 degree with it. So any, any sort of setting that will give you that, it to me is a bonus. It's just the quality we've had. And I might... <clears throat> I might have a couple of these. Um, the quality <laughs> that we have is phenomenal. It really is phenomenal. Isn't it you, just? You look into that and like you say, you just get lost in it. You know, it reminds me of going way back when. Do you remember the star um, green savers that used to come at you? Yeah. Like that, you look like down into it. Like going into, into hyperdrive. Yeah, you almost fall into it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely I absolutely phenomenal. Agree with you. Absolutely with you on that. It's like looking into the deepest blue eyes. Mm. It's just, it, it's almost soulful, isn't it? It's beautiful. It, it, if I could afford it um, to make one big enough, I'd use them as eyes in 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 a dragon or a teddy. But but that would take an awful lot of silver well, wire be because I'd want to do it. Piece, yeah. It's precious metal all the way for me. 100%. Oh, that would be one uh, expensive teddy or dragon to make, wouldn't uh, it? Yeah, because the size with those would be quite big, but I can dream. <laughs> Listen, I think we, we need to do some uh, museum submissions, so maybe this <laughs> is going to be one for you. Now, this is Love a star it. buy. We only have a handful of these, though, Danny, don't we? We've only got 32 of them. It's representative of November's birth gemstone. We don't get a lot of topaz, but we have here. Mm. It's not coated. A little bit of heat gives it that purity of colour. Are you absolutely have gone mad today? Do you know what you're like, Danny? Do you know how mad you are today? You know what I'm going to say? You're as mad as a dog out of the bath. <laughs> you're going absolutely mad. 49.95. Well, you'd be coming out here, rubbing your back on the floor, making funny scuffling noises. <laughs> Tara's tapping in. Um, oh, Roz says, I've got two of these. Absolutely stunning. Roz, we're jealous. Beautiful. Gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, so we've got Kathleen in Monmouthshire, two for you. Antoinette in Belfast. Mikey B. Hi, Mikey. 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 I was talking to him about them yesterday. Isn't he lovely? Oh, he's lovely. £49.95, pence. Wow. this one is half the stock gone. Now, we've got to keep on moving. <laughs> it's Tibetan turquoise and Danny says he's willing to bet that this will sell out. I had a Tibetan terrier when I was little. Aww. So I like things from Tibet. Now, that's not the only reason, of course. Look <laughs> at the purity of colour here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wouldn't you be putting your aquapraise with that? Oh, yes, you would. One miliano. Look, together, definitely. Stunning. This is, it's, a, it's a necklace ready-made up. I'm just going to grab one of these busts over here. And pop this necklace. So you've got an extended chain of about an inch. It's all in sterling. And it's very slightly graduated. That's beautiful. That's so ready for the summer. 1.2 grams of su stunning, <laughs> stunning sterling silver. Well, yeah, it is stunning, but I mean solid sterling silver. I tell you what, jewellery makers, I need to put my teeth back in today. Two chances only left. <laughs> 68 carats of Tibetan turquoise, not Tibetan terrier. £39.95. pence. That is a better than wow. half price deal. It's um, 16 inches uh, with uh, about an inch and a bit extender. So it will come up. Um, it will come up nice and close. Collector in Cheshire, you've got yours. Who's going to take the last one? 68 carats. Beautiful. So that absolutely beautiful. 
Sorry, Alison. I was just saying, it's absolutely stunning. And and being the, the outside-the-box person I am, I could imagine actually restranding that, extending the extender slightly, and using Summer's earrings and having a matching set of earrings from it. Because you wouldn't miss a few off the back. No. Not all, in fact, you could even do it just with a section. Right, we've got to quickly yeah. give everybody... <gasps> Daha Kyanite. And this is Smooth Rondelles. It's utterly beautiful. Did you see the bracelet we had yesterday? Look at these gorgeous kyanites. This uh -oh. is, what a deep colour that is. I always love to put kyanite against the wrist because I just think it looks wonderful against the skin. And I don't think it matters what skin tone you've got. You get the most pearlescent luster coming from kyanite. Really different from any other gemstone. Is it one that you, uh, you have in favour, Alison Terry? It, it is. Now, Kai Knight and I have a special relationship because it was my first engagement ring. There's a story, but I won't bore you with it. Um, For your, and your I, first absolutely, engagement ring? It, the depth of that colour is phenomenal. And it's, to me, that's the deepest, deepest blue. You know, if you've got um, a very deep pool yes. and it just looks like you can dive into that water because it, 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 it looks liquid. It's majestic, it isn't it? It's beautiful. Stunning. We're all absolutely mesmerised by this gemstone. Love for $4.95, it's exceptional quality, totally natural, and from Nepal, which isn't to be confused by the Naples, because apparently they're not the same place. <laughs> Who knows? That is gorgeous. Actually, it'll go very well indeed with the ruby that I've got for you now. <laughs> I am a mad fan of ruby. I love it. I really want a big ruby ring, and my daughter's asked me to... She's found one on Gemporia website that she's obsessed with that I've got to get for her. Look at that colour. Oh, it's red spinel, it's not even ruby. It's done it to me again. Classic spinel, the master of disguise. <laughs> Does look like the finest ruby money can buy, doesn't it? It's going under 20 pounds. I'll tell you what, this is incredible. The ruby in the crown jewels that was the, prince, uh, the black prince's ruby actually ended up being a red spinel. And it literally had been in the crown jewels for a number of years before they discovered that. 1995! I love it. I love that, though. The pretender uh, to the throne. I'd be using some of the smallest ones of those in a, in a silver ring um, and use the middle section in one of our sliders. Um, and then make some drop earrings out of it. That's that's brilliant. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Now, Alison, you are going to be joining us with your kit straight after the break at home. Please don't go anywhere because we have only just begun, in the words of the carpenters. Hi, I'm Debbie Kershaw and I'm delighted to tell you that I'm going to be back at Jewellery Maker next Monday for the Mid Show. So that's the 8th from 1pm. I've got two amazing kits, gemstones obviously, and some seed beads as well. So a bit of a fusion going on. And if you know anything about my work, you know there's going to be some flowers involved. I can't wait to get back and see everybody. In fact, if I go and wait outside now, do you think they'll let me in? Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. A strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. 
Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. I hope you'll be able to join us this week as we explore another single source location gem. A sunstone with unparalleled levels of clarity, yet at its atomic level, copper infusions that gift this most remarkable natural gem the, some of the brightest colors the gem world has seen. It's attracted the likes of the GIA, and six years ago, it attracted us on a pilgrimage to the far reaches of Outback Oregon. This week, we're gonna be ending that six year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker, where it can only be described right here, right now, as Tarry Time. We have got Lady Tarry on the phone lines with a brand new kit containing two exclusively brand new strands of Zambian amethyst, which is going to go so well with the phosphidiorite. Now, we're going to just show you the incredible jewelry that Alison has created. You can fetch a high price tag for sterling silver 
chain mail. It's something that people seek. It's something that people go out to get. It's a, an absolute favoured uh, jewellery technique. Piece like this you could fetch a lot of money for. Same with this one. Uh, we've got Alison Terry on the phone lines. We're going to talk to her in just a sec. Look at the combination of the silver and that rich natural Zambi and Amethyst, both strands are brand new. Now this is a very high-end kit. We've got an alternative for you if you're just beginning. If you're really serious into making high-end chain mail and you want to sell your jewellery on and it's got to be sterling silver, then it's got to be this kit for you. Please welcome back to the show, Alison Tarry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, darling Angel. How are you again? It's been a long time. It's been hours. Now, this kit, Alison, when yeah. you got this kit, it's so nice for you. Um, I know that you were saying it's great for you to try as many different techniques as you can. It's, this is mm. something that you originally started doing as a jewellery maker. Um, and th this is definitely a technique that I think most people are aware of. It's something yes. that is sold in so many silversmiths, uh, those little boutique jewellers, yes. uh, right up to the high-end jewellers. Chainmail is a technique that has never, ever died in terms of fashion. Passion. it's always been a classic to go for hasn't it well it has and you know its origins are you could go way back in history with the origins I mean I, while I've been um, re, re um, visiting shall we say I was looking up some of the Japanese styles from from long long time ago and, and it's amazing that it still looks as fresh you know and I was looking at something and I thought oh gosh that would be amazing to do today and, it, and it's just amazing that you can do that. It's timeless is what I'm trying to say. And, and it's not something that sometimes you make a piece of jewellery and fashions change. You think, oh, that's going to go out of style. This doesn't. It, it doesn't go out of style. It's never going to lose that, that wow factor that you get. And to have sterling silver with it, you've, you've just... You know, you, you, you're making heirloom pieces of jewellery, aren't you? Absolutely, 100%. But definitely sellable pieces of jewellery, yeah. boutique pieces of jewellery. If you want to sell your jewellery at hotels, at boutiques, as commissions yeah. online, on Etsy, on Facebook Marketplace, and have your own little store, then, definitely. you know, you're going to need things like this. Now, your kit has gone a very long way. How many pieces of jewellery exactly did you make, Alison Terry, out of this so, kit? So I made five pieces of jewellery. Um, I made the necklace, a bracelet, three pairs of earrings, um, and I had quite a bit of the amethyst left over. And, and can I just say, the quality of that amethyst is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I had probably half of each strand left over of the amethyst. It's a so I, Sorry, I, go on. I was going to say, I could have not gone so heavy with, with the, the um, jump rings. You know, if I'd have, if I'd have done three in, in there instead of five rings in the Mobius, I could have made two bracelets. Oh, Does wow. that make sense? Well, yeah, so, gosh. you know, you, you can, or you can just put one of those in the middle of an, am, uh, in the middle of an amethyst bracelet. Yeah. And you could make loads of them, you know, so there are lots of ways to use this kit. Absolutely. So I, I probably got quite a few pieces of jewellery left over. Um, that you could pro possibly make out of the kit? Yeah. I mean, I've got the curtains open so you can see a bit better, but, but it might <laughs> shut. So, so these are the ones that, that I've demoed. Gorgeous. So we've got a little bit of Byzantine. But even just doing um, three, three in one, doing uh, the simplest of chain mail. And, and you know... When I was looking, um, so I had to look for Byzantine earrings um, without the amethyst. I didn't see any with amethyst. I, and I was looking and they were between 30 and 45 pounds for a pair of earrings. Wow. For sterling silver Byzantine earrings. And then we've got the amethyst on top. So, you know, do, do your own research. That was on that, that well-known um, craft website. The one that rhymes with Betsy. That's the one. Absolutely. Then, well, there's lots of places we can sell. And then just the Mobius earrings yeah. to go to make a set. Just phenomenal kit. 
Now, we were talking about the quality of the amethyst. Now, these are brand new strands never seen outside of the kit. They are natural Zambian amethyst. If you are obsessed with the idea of the phosphidiorite later on, I think you ought to get obsessed with them all together because they just go so, so blooming well together. I want you to think about putting these with pearls as well. Rich yep. amethyst is such a favourite. It's such a wonderful gemstone to have in your, in your collection. I think people love purple, don't they? It's a colour that so many of us warm towards yeah absolutely these are long uh, strands as well i think this kit would go i've used it exclusively it would go with the other kit you know your purple will go with virtually every other kit color you've you've got i noticed you had um you've got another kit coming up that they didn't send me meanies <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm joking <laughs> i'm joking it's um, all right you have a cherry tantrum I'm, I'm going to allow it <laughs> so you could you could blend all three of these kits would work beautifully together you yeah. could mix and match the gemstones you know um put a couple put a put a couple of the the um uh, am, uh amazonite amazonite aquaprase no 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 well, sorry uh, the green the uh, green gemstone yes, we've got in the go second really kit really well look at those uh, together with it and i've forgotten the amazonite. name of it now You're amazonite. it is amazonite is yeah, it yeah you were right okay but look at look at that i mean how beautiful do they go together as well very very wimbledon and i love them adventuring oh, adventuring Thank there's you. me and you going oh yeah it's that but then you've got this one as well which is is that is that oh it's pretty it is pretty nice pre -night, beautiful the pre-night i would also put with the with the rutile quartz we've got in the other kit yeah they all go mix them but then this kit is just so special because you've got that sterling silver what we wanted to do, Alison, sorry, I, I think I interrupted you there. It's no. quite, sorry, everybody, it's quite hard, isn't it, to, to get the right time. Um, we've got two different price points. If you're looking for luxury and you're looking to sell on at profit and you want to use sterling to do that, I've got that kit for you right in front of me here. We've then got a little bit more of an affordable one if you are just starting out or you want to have an experiment or you want both or you're shopping of a bit lower of a budget today, but you really want to get involved, or in fact, you just prefer those colours. We want to give you variety, and that, of course, is the spice of life, isn't it? Especially when you're designing. Mm. Let's give you a minute to get yourself ready, ruffle your feathers a bit. Let's start the minute. So, on the phone lines, you can give us a call. There we go. 0800 <laughs> Log yourself in www.jewellerymaker.com. Log in, get ready, open the app, that's easy, that's quick. If you've got it downloaded, you're all right. I wouldn't start downloading it now, I don't know if, don't know if I can trust your internet. Now, all together, you're getting how many jump rings again? It, it, 150, so you get 50 of each. And the diameters are seven millimeter. Five. Five millimeter and four millimeter. Okay, so you can do lots of different techniques with those. Tarry, jewellery maker? So, so these are your internal diameter millimetres for okay. your rings. So this is, this is when, you're doing your, when you're doing your chain mail, that's quite important. But it's not the outside, it's the inside. inside. So, which gives you an idea of how many extra rings you can put in the middle and um, all that sort of thing. So whenever you see the diameter of a, of a, a jump ring, it's always just the internal diameter. We're ready to shop and you are already popping this in baskets the minute you saw. Uh, I think you're all on the, on the app right now because you just must have just gone like that. QWXC01, it's called Lady of the Manor. <gasps> lady of the Manor, darling. Well, out of my way, I'm the Lady <laughs> of the Manor. Now you've got all of those wonderful jump rings. You've got this incredible, rich amethyst already approaching half the stock gone if everybody checks out we only had a hundred looks like about 50 have gone just now i've got cornwall mary and jerry greater london taking two annette anita helen in bridge end sarah linda kath jean angela michelle elaine sandy carroll linda janice collector in cheshire helen joanne in south yorkshire and meggie in cornwall kathleen in monmouthshire manjeet is shopping on the phones well let's go shopping then shall we oh Fifty nine seventy five for everything. So I made five pieces. 
No, I, and like I say, the, the Byzantine ones I've demonstrated, I looked up those and they were between 30 and 45 pounds. So let's say 30 pounds for the earrings. So that's 90 pounds for the three pairs of earrings. Um, plus, what did we say earlier for the bracelet? I can't remember. Both, I think you under, yeah, but I said to you, oh, and then some, because I've seen chainmail bracelets really for like two hundred pounds. It's but, sterling. Well, yeah, you, you know me, Jenny. Sorry, I'm going to use the c word. I'm always too too low in my pricing. Probably. You are. You are. So well, we were up to ninety. So we're already we're all, even if we said fifty for it, we're over. We're one hundred and forty, and then you've got the bracelet to add on top. And how much was the kit? Wow. Should be fifty nine seventy five. We're not stopping there. Couldn't you imagine? Because if I if I remember right, because I'm I, I avoid a lot of news these days, but I think I think they've just um, released certainly in Northern Ireland that you can um, have wed weddings again. Could you yes. imagine this as a, a wedding necklace? It's very Celtic. It would work really well. Really yeah. well. Thirty five. An Irish wedding would. It, they're the best. I love them. Thirty-nine ninety-five, and away you go. And there's lots of you coming through on the phone lines, so well done to you. Here wow. is, you know, <laughs> mummy or ambulance. Uh, Jay Matty, Terence, Melissa, Claire, Beverly, Claire. Oh, we've got forty unchecked baskets. This will sell out today. Three quarters of the stock will be allocated. As, uh, uh, three quarters of the stock is allocated. Joan, Christine, check out. Linda, check out. Sarah, Linda, Kath, Jean, Angela, check out. Elaine in County Down. Sandy, Carol, Janice. Check out your baskets. Uh, Susan in Dorset is through on the phone lines. Mo uh, McLean, Annette, you've checked out. Jackie, Lynn in Greater Manchester. Susan in Dorset checking out. Joan in Dumbartonshire joining the queue. You've got to check out if you don't want to miss out. You've got to be quiet. Right, we are now over allocated, which means there are far more in unchecked baskets than we have stock of. So this will sell out in a mojo. Um, you've got to, you know, I mean, earlier, sometimes it's like you're trying to check out, aren't you? And it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You've got all these sterling silver jump rings. I'm trying to think last time I saw a big bundle of jump rings uh, to try and remember the price, but I can't remember. In sterling I've silver, yeah. I mean, it's not something we see a lot because we usually have to keep them for sterling silver, particular sterling silver events, actually. Alice because norm normally we only get like 20 jump rings in a packet, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. And you've got 50 in each here, so yeah, it's 150 that's altogether. Brilliant. Even if you, let's face it, even if you're not going to do chain well with them, you can make a stretchy, put in a jump ring between each bead. Yes, brilliant, yes. Perfect. You very, can. Very, very designer. You, you, you're going to use, you never not use jump rings. Whichever, whatever piece of jewellery you make, you're always having a jump ring in there somewhere. You're right, you do, because they are the bones of your jewellery making, aren't yeah. they? Now, we are majorly, majorly over allocated. We're going to go to the demonstration, are we? Okay, uh, so we're going to go to the demonstration just now. We're going to give you the other kit afterwards. I, I have to say goodbye to Alison for, for now, but we will be calling Alison back after the demonstration. Uh, thank you so much, Alison. Don't you get too comfortable because we're coming <laughs> back to you afterwards. <laughs> See, See you in a bit. In. Bye. Bye. Okay, if you've got the record facility, now is the time to hit it on your record button on your television. If not, don't worry, this demonstration will be on YouTube. So get yourself over to YouTube, uh, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jewelry Maker UK. You've got to check out, I've got to just let you know that if ever, we are seriously over allocated. We've got about 15 left and we've got over 30 uh, unchecked baskets. Half of you are going to miss out. If you come through on the phone lines just now if you're stealing out of an unchecked basket if you're trying to shop online it might tell you that this kit is sold out so if, if that's the case you can now come through on the phone lines and start stealing out of unchecked baskets not actual stealing uh, morally it's fine uh, here we go talking of high morals here's Alison Tarry during this demo we're going to make some Byzantine weave earrings and amethyst lovely they're with sterling silver Actually, you can tell that by the luster, can't you? They're stunning. So the Byzantine bit is the weave in the middle. Um, so we're going to create that. You can use this to make um, bracelets, very, very popular bracelets, necklaces, such a popular weave. So we're going to move those to one side. So each of these sections uses 18 of your jump rings and you're using your 
in a diameter five mil jump rings and a pair of earring wires and the only other thing I've got is some um, featherweight head pins just to, to create the drops for the amethyst. So I'm going to start off with two of the jump rings. You'll need some flat nose plier, some uh, chain nose or bent pliers um, and some cutters and some round nose pliers to do your loops. Now I have got, the eagle eyes of you will already have spotted the copper jump rings. The only reason I've put these in here is to hopefully make it a bit clearer during the demo. So we're going to start off just adding the jump rings and adding three we're adding three of our um, next jump ring so we're just adding three to that loop when they get snagged so we've got three in one obviously use two jump rings if you're comfier I'm quite happy with these with my hand but you've still got to make sure that it shuts flush okay so once you've got your three we're now starting the byzantine weave now one way to do it is you can add on if you want a piece of wire to here to give yourself something to hang on to so we're going to put the next layer and i'll do it in copper so you can see so we're going to add in two coppers for the next layer But, but but predominantly I, I am, I've done them in the sterling silver All right so that's two of the copper jump rings and then we want another two traditionally with um, Byzantine you'd have three sets of two to begin with and I've done a set of three just to give it a slightly different decorative edge at the end so it would be two by two by two so there's our first chain. We've got the three sets. Now we're going to hold on to these three at the bottom. We're going to flip out those two silvers, open up the two coppers and push the bottom silvers up through. So those, can you see how the we've, we've inverted those top two um, silver be, uh, jump rings and now we're going to catch those jump rings just those two silver ones from the middle and we're going to catch those with another two jump rings so we're going to pop those Hang on. let me pull that out there we go so these are quite thin jump rings and um, they're an eight gauge not quite thin they're an eight gauge they're perfectly acceptable um, but that's why it sort of jumped back up there it will hold perfectly well so you can see how these two jump rings have flipped over backwards so that's the first half of our Byzantine so we're going to add in another two pairs so we're going to go silver silver so that's the first pair and two coppers okay so we're now back to having our three pairs three sets of pairs we're going to flip those two copper out and open the silver so we open and we flip the copper back, open up the silver. You can see those two copper, that's what we're going to catch now. So we're going to pick up come here. Those two copper. Let me hold it in the right place. I'm trying to direct it at the camera and not have it in a natural place. 
that's the first one and the second one and we want a third one to go in here so this is this is the the reverse of the the bottom that we did I miscounted so we want that third one if you get out of place just pull those um, ones out and there we go and then we're going to go through there with our other one and then we're going to put our one on the top so if you were doing um, a Byzantine bracelet when you get to this stage you then add your next lot of two let me just go helps if you fasten it so here you'd have three then another two and another two and you'd start this bit again so you start that there we go and there's your byzantine weave and because you've got the copper it, it shows up really nicely um, so with this one i would just add on our amethyst on that side now I've put five on that the original one and then open up this jump ring and add on your earring finding and that gives you your earrings Thank you to that gorgeous lady, uh, Alison Tarry, who will be back with us in just a mojo. Now we're going to give you some smaller jump rings. These are smaller than the ones that are in your kit, so you might want it as an addition. I've got far too many unchecked baskets here. Josie, collector in Gwynedd, Lee, collector in Greater London, Joan in Dumbartonshire, Christine in Devon, Linda in Nottinghamshire. Oh, gone. Um, loads of you loads of you um, we, as soon as we put another product on it the names go off you see so here we have inner diameter three millimeter 50 of so these are three millimeter inner diameter we've only got 58 of these over five grams of silver they're lovely thick jump rings in sterling please welcome back in the game it is lady tarry hello hello dear you sounded like mrs doubtfire then hello, hello. i love that film i might watch it later um how are you very darling? clever man um I, i'm fine did they, did, did they all go did i see well we're seriously over allocated can i just ask you is that a bat or an owl behind you um it's a dragon oh of course it's neither there we go ah now i can see it all i could see was the wings ah. fantastic it's, it's yeah, a dragon. It's me, it a dragon. It's a dragon. <laughs> it's brilliant. Is it light fitting that's a dragon? Uh, no, no, it's it's a dragon. My husband bought me, um, and the only place we could find to hang it because it, it's articulate, so the the wings move. <gasps> um, but the only the only place we could find to put it was hang it off the the, the light fitting. Why not? It looks fantastic. I love <laughs> it. Now, Lady Terry, we've got the little three millimetre in, in diameter now. So these will work with your kit, won't they? They'll they work with the kits. Um, fabulous for doing your Japanese weaves because you want the smaller jump rings to connect the, the bigger ones together. Absolutely beautiful. You can do micro um, chain mail. Yeah. So you could do that by Zantime weave, you know, with, with the small micro gemstones. Amazing stunning stunning stuff you can do um very useful just 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 changing the sizes of your gemstone just makes such a uh, gemstone your jump rings sorry yeah. no it's all makes right makes such a difference <laughs> and and some some um some sizes work better with some weaves than others these are great for any that you want different sizes with yeah. so um one i did with the second kit was a helms weave these are fab for your helms weave they'd work great with this with the sterling with the helms weave fabulous little and and again they close your jump rings and put them on a stretchy with with gemstones in between amazing definitely definitely we've got lots of different millimeters uh, coming up for you price it 6.95 for 50 that's brilliant allison isn't it 
that's an amazing price. When you look, when you look at the weight of sterling that you've got there, for that price, just it's amazing, just, isn't it? We've got four millimetre now, um, Alison. Brilliant. I, went, I did it again. I went to call you Angela again then, and I do it all <laughs> the time to Alison, and I think it's, I think there's something weird in that. I know. You always try and call me Angela. I don't mind being an Angela. I know some amazing Angelas. I'll take it as a compliment. Never met an Angela I didn't like, actually. <laughs> now. I did work with a four mil in the kit, uh -huh. um, which is... Was it your now, two in uh, one, your three in one you did with the? Yeah, yeah. So the three in one I did. I used them um, at the ends with the Byzantine, I think. Oh yeah. So so I've used them in. Um, there we go. In the in the um, what's they called Mobius rings. In here, and it shows you the different sizes you can do. How much fuller they are with only three. Than the mm. other ones were with five it looks because great. smaller ones absolutely love them and you could again you could you could you know i'm just getting the other ones out so so that'll give you a good idea of the sizes of them perfect they're gorgeous you, oh yeah they, they go they go brilliantly absolutely brilliantly i would i would advise it, whether you've got this kit or not to get the extra jump rings like i say you're always going to use the jump rings but if it starts you off on your chain mail fantastic perfect maybe this is an addition to your kit maybe you're just wow. going to get a few jump rings today maybe yeah. you want 100 of these instead of 50 in the kit uh here we go p s r f 31 for you brilliant uh, you've got a lot of silver there for under 10 pounds and it's lovely to be able to get half the stock gone in fact uh check out baskets lynn jean josie diane J uh, janice louisa uh, maureen hazel collection lanarkshire linda sharon carmel rachel lisa in pennsylvania you know what's made there don't you pencils uh, patsy you're there <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to pennsylvania alison tarry are they sorry are they a four oh, mil did you say these what's the four mil sorry the, 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 the jump rings yes yep so, so that's a byzantine in four mil these I'd cut oh, myself see. from a, from a, from another kit. Obviously, it's a lot easier if you don't have to cut them. So oh, the the thing oh, we did on wow. the demo, you could do this with the four mil. You'd need a few packs. That's but amazing. at that price, that's an amazing price. How many packs? How many packs? Is that about two hundred in there? I've got a feeling it's about two hundred to do a Byzantine yeah, bracelet. I think it is. I think I've got two hundred in my head as well. Yeah. So uh, out and gone. So but you had multi buyers in that. We're going to stay with sterling silver. We're going to give you that additional kit in just a bit. <gasps> oh, trigger clasps. I've never seen these. Oh, these are like lobster claw clasps, yeah? No way. So these are for your Argentium. No, they don't have to be for your Argentium. You can use it. You will need to add your own jump ring. They've got the loop for the jump ring here. Which, which we've had a few on so far. Oh, gosh. When was the last time I saw it? Oh, we had them two minutes ago. You're fine. <laughs> uh, so we've got your trigger or lobster clasp here. You get five of them. They're in sterling silver. There's that little gap there for you to tuck your... Well, it doesn't have to be a jump ring, actually, because you just thread through there as well, couldn't Good. you? So, so the difference between the Argentium is it's, it's a higher silver content than yeah. the silver yeah silver's 925 um, this is 935 and that's the percentage yeah. of silver isn't you, it you can still use it with your sterling silver because if you're going to sell you'll need to get your your pieces hallmarked they will still hallmark it it will all get hallmarked at 925 they don't actually hallmark for argentium at the moment anyway so you can't get a 935 hallmark all argentium goes down as 925 so it's perfectly usable and interchangeable and of course with your with your kit you're going to want some clasps to go with it and that price is again phenomenal fabulous and they're nice and safe aren't they six pound 45 yeah. that's incredible isn't it now we're going to give you some earrings in sterling as well we're a bit sterling aren't we excellent we're sterling which number darling okie croaks so here we go these are, uh, these are lovely, actually, because you've got that nice flat part. You've got the loop. We only have 100 of these. We expect them to sell out today at the price we're going to give them to you at. 
that you've got the ball there. So these are the more expensive variety because the, uh, you eat, normally get a spring Look, or a they... ball. You've got the ball there. However, I say expensive. How about 69 and a half pence a pair? Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how we're rolling today. Do you see, you know... When you're when you're making your jewellery, even if you're just if you're just using your gemstones, you're going to want your sterling silver findings because you get a lot of it. Some people can wear anything, and that's great, and they don't mind. But you get a lot of people who prefer the sterling. Yeah. So I always, whenever I used to have a store or anything, I would always have the opportunity to to sell with either. Mm -hmm. So if people said, "Oh, I, you know, I quite like those, but I can't wear non-sterling," then you say, "Well, I can swap them over." there's an additional cost it'll cost you a pound to have the sterling silver earrings in exactly that finding and, and you're you know making a profit off that if they cost you 69p even if you said two yeah. an extra i think people pay an extra five pounds do you know that because i would someone said i'll well, change it it can be sterling but it's going to be five pounds i'd be like fine what, can I, what else yeah. can i buy for a fiver not much you know actually five pounds now what can you i know like when we were little five pound pocket money used to get you yeah. everywhere five pounds doesn't get you even doesn't get you much at all a coffee through that and you still get about 20p change yeah you know yeah. you can't get a cheese toasty at a service station you know like and they're not even nice uh <laughs> six don't get me started <laughs> six ninety five i love a cheese to we we're talking about cheese on toast yesterday weren't we uh why you are <laughs> f51 here we go loads of you there hilma and grace check out toggle class coming up next toggle class are ideal if you've got a big chunky piece of jewelry yeah. Uh, they're my favourites, the, the toggle class for chunky jewellery. I particularly I, like them in, um, you know, if you do like a jump ring necklace and you have the toggle class, but as actually a feature, it looks like a pendant, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean, Alison? Absolutely. You, you, you know, I think they're beautiful. You can have them at the front. I wouldn't tend to put a trigger clasp or, or a, 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 um, a lobster claw at the front, but Agreed. I would always use a toggle or, or the, the magnetics. I would use them as a feature. Yeah, absolutely agreed. Here we go. Lo 200 of these. <gasps> Love. Oh, 425. Look at all of this silver. Great for um, cufflinks. You can use this part as a cufflink finding as well if you want to do quite posh ones. You know what these will look good with if you're doing a cufflink? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is good, isn't it? Phosphidiorite coming up at three. Mark uh -huh. Carroll, Anne in Wicklow, uh, Elaine in Merseyside. Yeah, all there. Oh, we've got that other kit to do that Alison hasn't uh, seen yet. Alison Tarry tapping in. Here, oh, yeah, so Lady Tarry. I, I do like a lobster. Uh, 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 Toggle. I find these very easy to use because mm. sometimes with the clasps, it's trying to, get, trying to get it open if you're struggling behind your neck. These are so easy to use and secure. Yeah. Nice and secure. I love them. And, they, and I love the, them. the sterling silver ones, the quality is just phenomenal. Well, it's a forever piece then, isn't it? It's a piece yeah. you could give to someone and know that they're going to wear it forever, every day, in the bath, in the shower. It doesn't matter. It's not yeah. going to tarnish nothing. Now, we've got bolt ring clasp for you. I would use a bolt ring clasp um, if I'm going to attach a charm onto something. Yeah. I would use a bolt ring clasp if I've got a... Um, you know how I like to do like oh, i haven't got any strands here to do this with oh yeah i have like let's say i wanted to do not the char char danny i want to do a um stacker bracelet if i yeah. had a toggle clasp on that it would look crazy because it would be far too bulky Big. this is ideal yeah it's going to be a little bit more tricky to do up but it, but it's the look and it's very secure now even the inside the, every part of this mechanism is sterling silver which I find brilliant because you've got that spring-loaded bolt ring clasp. Lady right. Terry, where do you use yours? It's beautiful, and I'm with you. So it's horses for courses as well. So if you've got, a, 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 you know, 12 mil beads, you're not going to put a delicate clasp on. They'd hold, don't get me wrong, they would hold, but it would look out of place, mm. and it would be quite difficult to get because the beads are getting in the way. Yeah. Likewise, if you've got that, that stunning strand from the other kit, and you put a, a massive clasp on it, again, it's going to look out of place. I quite like these with the stackers because you can interlink the stackers. Yeah. So you can connect them to each other and just sort of make a, a, a bundle of them that, that are all interconnected, which I love, or I turn love them into look. a necklace. 
still there? And like you say, you can use them as um, earrings or, you know, calm, char char calm chariots, charm carriers. I, I keep doing that today. I think it's because there's thunderstorms. I'm, we're going a bit crazy. What's that uh, price then? What's that? 3 39 p each? Wow. What's that about? What are you doing? What are you talking about, Willis? I'll tell you what, jewellery makers, I don't know what's going on. That's bonkers. It's bonkers. It is. The epitome, do you know what it's like? It's like, some, it's like Danny's like a tennis ball and we've done that and he's going bang, 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 and he just won't stop. No, what were those power ball. balls you used to get? The what balls? The bouncy balls? The power balls, the, the, the really hard, hard rubber ones. Oh, yeah, used and to you bounce go... like and they go mad, don't they? Or you get yeah. the ones with the funny little notches in them and they go all crazy wiggly. You never know where they're going. <laughs> now, we are going to give to you um, that new kit in a mo. So let's have a look at it. I need this kit. Well, I think you might because you've got the most amazing colours in the jump rings. Aren't they great? Now we've got six millimetre bolt rings. Ooh. What millimetreage of those? You just saw seven. I've got the one size down because we look. It looks like those are about to sell out. So Dan is sneakily taking these off. The are you? He's mad. What's going on? They're sterling silver. You know, and I know we're not allowed to do that price for sterling silver if there's ten <laughs> pieces. Two ninety-five. What are the rules? What are the rules? <laughs> I think the rule book's gone out the window, hasn't it? Well, I'd say so, Danny. Two ninety five. You can't even buy a big bag of posh crisps for that. No. Can't buy cake for that. No, but you can buy no. sterling silver's mad. He's gone completely mad today. Unpolished <gasps> sheet. Yes, where is it? Nice. Oh, you can polish this up lush though, mine, can't you? A lot of people ask, well, can I polish it up? Oh yeah. Oh, can you polish it up and it doesn't it ever? It's not polished yet so that you can work with it. Tarry, jewellery maker, tapping in. <gasps> so, wow. so this, the sheet you can use for all sorts. Now, I've got, I've got a selection of jewellery, which I've put all together very cleverly, and I can't find it. It's in, it's in one of my boxes, and if you understood my house, there's a lot of boxes with stuff. And I saw it the other day, and when Danny, when Danny said, oh, gave me the heads up, we've got some sheet, I was like, oh, yeah, perfect. Now, that sheet you've got there, I would be tempted to cut that diagonally okay. across and, 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 and make two rings. And, and, and that's all this is, it's, if I take this off. So it's, it goes from wider oh. and, and then you narrowly cut it. So if you cut that on the diagonal and you go narrow and narrow and just overlap it, how simple is that to make a ring? And then I've patinaed it and I've polished it higher going there and then gradually less and less. So you've got that two tone. That's all it is, is a bit of patina. Then I've got a little, there's a little bit of silver clay on the top of there with a diamond in. Oh, I love that ring. But even if, even without that, um, it looks incredible. It's an amazing, amazing, so easy to do. Um, I just love it. Working once you've started working with silver, you'll not look back. But it doesn't have to be mega complicated. It can be as simple as that, and I and I, that's I love that. It's one of my favourite things. I'm just trying to find because you can actually polish this up. We've got the boxes for the polishing cloth. Oh, here it is. If you want to polish it, you can because I had that last time. But you can also use your. Um, I mean, you buff this with Drem your Dremel, wouldn't you? But you can use your Dremel to. Um, to etch into this can't you and personalize it if you want to too you certainly can you can etch into it i've also fused it with um so you know you know when you get uh, little bits if you've got any head pins you've cut off the little ball because you've used yes. it to, to do loops on either side you've got little bits of of um wire left over keep all that i've got little bags i've got of little bits of silver i never throw any of it away and then what you do is you basically, you heat, you can reticulate it, but it's a, a different process. So, so this basically just fuses it and you, you, heat, you heat the silver. You've got to get it really hot with a torch and you can heat and basically melt those bits onto your silver and it gives you the most incredible patterns and then polish it on top. And I've got, I've got pieces that, that 
I can't put my hand on it. It's so frustrating because it shows it beautifully. <laughs> I've just polished that little bottom bit there, but have you got the Dremel? This is only twenty pounds. You can polish it with a cloth, but have you got the? Now this is for your own wedding rings, maybe. Yeah. It's for personalised. Um, you know the the necklaces a lot of people wear with their children's name or their own name on them. There's just so much you can do. This silver is thick silver we are down to single figures you're gonna to have to be quick you've got 18 wow. grams of sterling silver for, for that price are you bonkers he's mad isn't he <laughs> i'm just giving it a buff up because i know last time i had so many questions saying well will it be dull forever no you can shine it or you can patina it you can age it it's totally yeah. and i'll tell you something isn't it malleable but it's still got an amazing strength to it but it is malleable look it, it, it's malleable you can stamp on it you can put holes in it use it in amongst your chain mail looks beautiful absolutely fantastic see you, you know you can just use it as a bracelet i'd, I'd probably use it as 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 to, I'd possibly even use that as four bracelets. Yeah, well you can and this one we've got the smaller one you can cut that in half and put a name across yeah. each one brilliant isn't it so this is oh gosh this is uh, when it's not, we've got a bigger quantity of this. It's thick, this one, isn't it? It's the same thickness or not? Uh, one millimetre gauge. What was the last gauge? Is it because it was warm? One, oh, it was one warm. mil. It's because yeah. I'd warmed it up. Once you warm it up, you can, because uh, I'd given it a rub, wasn't it? It yeah, comes yeah. like this because if you had it all shiny, you just mark it straight away. So it comes like this ready for you to work on. RAU D39 unpolished sterling silver sheet. Oh my gosh. 9.95. Record low price. We've got 50 of these to go around. Will they sell out today? Alison, yes. it's about personalization. It's about making you can make your own ring out of this, couldn't you? Cuz you've got yeah. enough to cut it in half and put yeah, them both yeah. together. You you can use it. You can use it for all sorts of things. So like I say, I'd use it with the chainmail, use it as um Do you remember we used to have ingots back in the day? Ingot. And you can use it yeah, a, a, a little, a thin um, piece, a, a, a piece, an ingot of, of, of silver. You can do that with it. You can, like I say, you can patina it. Um, you can you can etch onto it, and then you can colour it after you've etched onto it. You can use your your um, clays with it. Absolutely amazing. You can use it in amongst your wire work, and and it. A piece like that would go a long way. The other thing you could actually use it for is to cut out small pieces to have so you, if you're going to sell your jewellery and you want somewhere for your, for your um, stamp to go, your hallmark, then, then you can actually have a piece, create your own shape and cut out your own little shape. You might have a diamond in every single piece of your jewellery and that's yes. where your hallmark goes. You, could, you, uh, have, could you use punches on this? Have you ever used die punches, oh, like basic yeah, shapes? Yeah, absolutely you can. You can, you can punch it. Perfect. And then the bits you, you get from the punch, you can use to put on top of it, if that makes sense. Yeah, this could be a if pendant. You... That could be a pendant. You could put a hole in the top and then you could have three hearts punched in. Like a die punch. I mean, we've got stamping sets on the website as well, so go, go do head out yep. and have a look at those. Uh, loads of you. It looks like most of these have gone. We've only got 10 left. I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to get the Dremel on that. I'd I love know. to get the Dremel. It'd be amazing. Did you get the etching tool with the Dremel? Have you got My yours? Time. I have plans for that. Did you get it? Yes. Woohoo! Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see the jewellery. We keep saying, sorry, we've been talking about this kit. We haven't done it. We're probably driving everyone mad, Danny. Oh, he's a wind-up merchant. Don't worry, I have to work with him. Now, <laughs> we've got 600. I know. It's, uh, I know. I tell you what, it works both ways, doesn't it? Danny has to put up with me, and I'm not easy. Not easy. Now, we have got... This is going to be a bit exciting, is it, Dan? Danny, we're going under £20. Look at all of these wonderful jump rings you've got. Be this is a great one for chaps pieces, isn't it? Do an amazing chaps piece out of this. Oh, you know, you know, I, I can't think the last time we had antique bronze. I was talking, I was actually talking to, to Georgia about antique bronze wire. 
An antique bronze jump rings. Wow. Talk about gold dust. I think uh, Lady Tarry might be picking this one up for herself, everybody. So you might want to get in early. Diameter wise, we've got four, five and seven millimetres. That's the inner diameter. 40 carats of tiger's eye on a 38 centimetre strand. Those are four mil rounds. And your black retail quartz at six millimetre rounds. I think this is unisex, this one, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Very unisex. And every the techniques I've done with, with either of the kits you can do with these. But but if you did something like this with the with the root eye or the tiger's eye in the middle, it's gonna look incredible. I think if you put the tiger's eye through the middle of there, mm -hmm. it's gonna look very, very unisex. Alison in Flintshire, did you just buy this kit? Yes? M might have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. It's called Bronze Age TRX C08. <laughs> We're rascally today, Lady Tarry. We're rascally. But, but this kit, I mean, I love Rutile Quartz. I want to put that Rutile Quartz with the, with the um, oh, I've forgotten the name of it, strand in the other kit. Oh, the, uh, the green? Yes. Here we go. What did no, we both no. say it was? It's not Amazonite, is it? Is that Amaz no. is it Green Adventuring? No, 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 not that one. The, oh. the, the other kit, the other green. Oh, that's Pray annoying tonight. me. Pray night. The Pray night, thank you. Because they've <laughs> both got that rutilation in them. And I, look at that, I think they go beautifully together. But that tiger's eye stunning. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Let's give mm. you a price because the third of the stock's gone. Everyone's going wild. Should be 29.75, which I think any day of the week is a good price for this kit. We did promise you under 20, so that's exactly where we're going to go. Bonkers. Bonkers. That, I mean, Rutile quartz. There's a strand of Rutile quartz, and that that uh, tiger's eye is stunning, isn't it? I'd say you're paying. You, you're getting those. You'd be paying more than that 19.95 for those two strands. Definitely, definitely. Four pounds per component. 19.95 TRXC08. It's called Bronze Age, and we're ready to shop. Loads of you there. Loads of you there. Over half the stock gone now. Hilda, collector in Essex. Janet, Joe, Meg, Sandy, collector in Newport. Uh, Rebecca. It, I mean, these jump rings we haven't seen for ages in this colour. I, I don't know when the last time we had a bronze. And we don't know what. Rings. With the COVID situation, we don't know when our new stock's going to start coming in. We get dribs and drabs, but if anything like this is really difficult to get hold of. So we're actually delighted to have these in our afternoon show today. And do you know what would also make it be absolutely incredible? We've talked about mixing the gemstones. If you mix the antique bronze with the copper jump rings, you get the most amazing shaded. So you'll get this light and dark shade going on in your chain mail. Which Let's will look try it. Phenomenal. Let's try it, Lady Terry. She's never wrong. She's never wrong. That, all, that looks amazing. Yes, it looks like it's ombreing, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ray says, we need more antique fine. Yeah, do you remember? We do. Do you remember we used to get toggle clasps? We used to get everything in antique. Where's it gone? Where has it gone? I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking those questions. I'm going to ask them with you. I think if we do it in strength, I'm quite, I'm way more annoying than you are, Alison Terry. So <laughs> um, I'll go in there and be like, oh. And they'll be like, I'll oh, just get her out of here. Just give her what she wants. Jury Maker Studio. Hi, Jenny. You showed an opaque purple strand earlier. Just wondering when it... What you mean this? What you mean phosphidiorite? That's not how you say it. It's phosphophidiorite, but I, and I can't say it right. So I do know I'm saying it wrong. We're going to do it in five minutes time. We're going to go to the break after this because we're all so in love with it. Go, if you've got Jade, if you're into crystal healing, if, even if you're not, and you just love that colour. Um, we saw it earlier with Alison's kit, and hello! Oh, yeah. I love it. Wait, watch this. Oh. The... I love it. You Did you do your me. nails specially? Have you seen my nails are ombre? Do you see what happens? <laughs> if I get cold, if I heat them up, watch this. Let's heat them up. Oh, Come wow. on, wait there. You'll like this. I've got a special nail polish and they change colour, look. So here's a cold finger. I'm going to show you a... That's a cold finger next to a warm finger. Warm, they go... And if I get in the bath, these go bright pink. But they're oh, purple really? in, unless I'm cold and then they're, then they're that. So I don't know, I've got one... I've got poor circulation. Did I say that's what, darling? Easy. 
If I'm in the bath. No, the bath. What are you talking about? It's because they say bath and they're like, in the buff. You can't say in the buff. <laughs> if I'm freezing cold in the buff. <laughs> no, they go bright pink when I'm warm. If I'm in the buff, I'm probably cold, aren't I? <laughs> Um, listen, I, they, I'm very rarely in the bath unless I'm actually, you know, in the bath. In the buff in the bath. Otherwise, I'm fully gowned up. I love a dressing gown. There's nothing sexy about me inside the house, let me tell you. Now, if you, I don't, Alison, how are you even, if you're working from home, get out of your dressing gown on a daily basis? I, my hat's off to you. I walk the dog it, around the it's field not in my always, dressing gown. It's not always when I get her. It might be several hours later, <laughs> and it's like, oh, it's lunchtime, I suppose I better get dressed now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what's the point? What's the point? And you know what? Well, I'd love to have... Walking the dogs, don't yeah. do that in my dressing gown, so... Yeah, uh... Do you know what you can do? I put wellies over the top of my pyjamas, put my big coat on, which is, like, to the knee. <laughs> Perfect crime. I'm still Yeah, comfy. but Jenny, you're on a farm, I'm in the middle of a village. That's all right, Gil. You, you own it. Own it. No, they won't know. I get dressed. They won't know. Um, now, <laughs> I, honestly, I love pyjamas so much. I'm a big fan. I'm so excited because I ordered a new pyjama set and I just keep checking the tracking to see. I'm so sad, aren't I? I ordered it with my birthday money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> most people get themselves like a little bit of jewellery or something. Not me. Straight in there with uh, some, some lovely, lovely pyjamas. Now, let's give you... Ooh, Alison Tarry, get ready. Champagne gold. They're two ninety five. They're champagne gold. You're gonna love them. You see, now we're talking full ombre. You've got the champagne gold, the copper, down to the antique yeah. bronze. Yes. Perfect. Should we try that? Aren't they lovely? I love this colour. Mm. So you go the love, champagne, I love the three. then the copper, yeah, copper. then the antique. Yeah. Come on, copper. Right, antique. -y. Come on. She's not wrong, although I haven't got the right size for the antique, so please forgive me. Matter, because you could, you'd could, you mix the size, depending on what design you're using, you might be using different size beads. Uh, beads, duh, jump rings. That is so Cartier, it actually hurts. Look yeah. at that. Beautiful, they're going to sell out. Wow. Featherweight hairpins, and then it's that phosphophidiorite. Mm-hmm. Now, we had these on this morning. We're going to give you a quick remindez-vous. Remember, I made that at remindez-vous when I was feeling I a bit French. Do. I normally don't go French till the five o'clock hour, Alison. I'm normally Russian in this hour. <laughs> oh, it's actually 2.30 onwards I go French. But I haven't gone Russian yet, so where is it, <laughs> where is it now? Number three. Okay. You haven't gone Welsh today either. Oh, there's always time there, my love. Can you, Alison? We have the way uh, head pins next, eh? Where to the head pins? Have a look at these. They're lush, aren't they? Oh, they're lovely. You know what you can make Do you know what? Earrings. Sterling silver has just the most amazing luster, doesn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, these are um, the, the really skinny ones, though. So they've got a really little ball on the end. Yeah. Of course, that's tickling everyone. Uh, why wouldn't it? Now, oh, Alice and Terry, aren't they naughty? <laughs> You've got, oh, look, I like, oh, look, it's an old school picture. <laughs> I remember that. Who was it who, back in the old days where we actually paid someone to line those up? <laughs> 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 it was Bruce <laughs> over time. Now, are we ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, Alice and Terry? No, because this is going to disappear in about two seconds. Okay, flat, well, I'll I give reckon. you a sec. Get yourself ready. Get yourself sorted. If yeah. you want, I won't speak for you to a minute. Well, it's a start by anyway, so good time because we're going to do that bum, bum, bum. Oh, it's one to own, so we're not doing bum, bum, bum. <laughs> okay, so no bum, 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 but it is the one to own.
Okay, so the reason that we, I was going, Danny was going, it's phosphosidiorite. No? That's what I said, phosphosidiorite. It, oh, did I put an area in it? There's no rea in it. Okay. If only I could say the same about myself, Jerry Makers. We are about to give to you one of the most amazing colours. Strong, opaque, beautiful mauve. Totally natural. I want to put this next to my jade. It's the first thing I want to offer up to this incredible gemstone. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Stunning with that. I just love Perfect it. Perfect with the jade. You've got that, you've got that um, almost pastel -y tone of the jade, the, the, the sort of beautiful spring garden tone, isn't it? And then you've got those purple. There's a lot of, there's a lot of lilac uh, lilies that are that colour that I've noticed out and about at the moment. Do you know, you're bored. right. A lot of calla lilies. Calla, oh, calla lily. I've just, I've just planted some, because as you know, we, uh, we had a horrible, we lost our pony, and um, so we yeah. planted some calla lilies in oh. the garden. Um, and yeah, do you know what? It's, it's that colour. You're so right. Yeah. We're seeing these incredible colours in the gardens, and I think we're having, we're having a little bit um, of more time in the garden aren't we look we at that are color. and i think we're sort Beautiful. of appreciating appreciating mother nature because of that look. you know what because i i'm i've been really noticing these tones because sorry <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> um we we walk in the dogs more during the day now and you see these colors in the gardens and and, and this is what we want to take with us it's that beautiful freshness that that life shall we say that that's blossoming everywhere and i think because because we've been at home um and and sort of out and about locally it's beautiful um i've got some wild orchids in my garden <gasps> and they're this color wild orchids yeah well i actually rescued it because it used to be the one i got used to be at my friend's house and her shire horse used to kill it every year it used to stomp on it they do that and one year i was horse sitting so i took it home and it fitted in a tub and it's lived there for 20 odd years wow and i've now got it's propagated around the rest of the garden and wow. they're stunning and then we've got loads in the village anyway that are that are natural i just couldn't bear to see this crushed every year by the shire horse it could, probably couldn't see it could it beyond its whiskers bless it no <laughs> Now, that big, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so is it, um, right? it's a strong union of phosphorus and iron. Um, and it, it's a really strong gemstone in crystal healing, which I know isn't everybody's cup of tea, but it is definitely mine. It's said to be a calming and soothing gemstone that works wonders with the heart and the third eye chakras to balance energy centers and allow one to gain a better understanding of one's spiritual path it can help you communicate with your spirit guides and with your angels and people use it in meditation to connect with the spirits um, with those spirits so if you're into that kind of thing which i heavily am you you need this if you're not and you're just thinking jenny i don't i think it's mumbo jumbo let me let me show you this gemstone for the color the vibrance the difference that it brings to the table we don't have anything like this outside of this wonderful gemstone placing this with the amethyst that alison had in her first kit would be a really great idea and the yeah. thing is um you've got lovely big drill holes in these these feel very 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 smooth but I would be, but there's so many ways you can use it. Bracelets, yes, of course. Yeah. Necklaces, absolutely. But Alison, wouldn't this go so well with your first kit with the sterling silver <gasps> in a in a weave with your? It would just look great like that, wouldn't it? It would look amazing in there, and use it so you've got small sections of the chainmail. Whether you're doing Mobius rings, whether you, whether you're doing um, small sections of the Byzantine, in between those stunning, stunning gemstones. And I think they would stand up to being standalones. Yeah. You know, I could see one in a dropper would look amazing. One as an accent at the end of a gemstone, stunning. Um, well, I could see them as a marla necklace. I could see them um, rosary linked. And I could see them as a stretchy. If you're saying it's got a good drill hole on it, I could imagine yeah. making a stretchy with it. 
Do you know what? You have got a lovely drill hole. You can see them there. You could easily get your elasticity through there. Oh, gosh, yes. And Danny, wow. remind me of the quantity. How many do we have again? We've got... Oh, 99, a.k.a. not enough, says Danny. It's not a gemstone we see all the time. It's a gemstone we've had so many texts about, so we're going to give you one minute to get your feathers ruffled and your ducks in a line. That minute starts now. Uh, get yourself on the phone line, perhaps, 0800 644 655. Logging in like Alison Tarrant. Oh, she's got the app open, actually. She's quick. Jewelrymaker.com. Uh, get to the login area. Get yourself logged in. Get ready for this uh, to come up as your next product. If you've got the app open, we're you. ready to put it in a basket and check it out. Are you tapping in, Tarry? I'm just getting a cup of tea delivered. Um, oh, while I'm John. <coughs> Sorry. No. It. Where's John? Do, do you know what this 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 reminds me of? Because you were saying with the jadeite before, I, I see it as a very calming gemstone. Hundred percent. But that's it, what they're that's saying. From, that with some angelite, that with the <gasps> jadeite yes. would look phenomenal. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Toned with that amethyst, of course, is a no-brainer. Uh -huh. um, with the greens from the second kit, beautiful. Mm -hmm. But but if you put the tiger's eye with it. It's still going to look stunning. It's going to go with everything that, and it's going to so. it's going to go with every skin tone as well, isn't it? Definitely. It's that sort of colour. Here is your item code. So, um, crystal healing mm -hmm. vibes, calming and soothing. The first thing yeah. Alison said, calming. You know, it is a gemstone colour that gives you that calm. It, it, there's a, there's a huge serenity um, that I'm getting off of this aura. Beautiful. Eight Plus, millimetre uh, ounce. I've got to remember this now. I think this is stunning because this Phosphos is new to me, this. It's, I call it phosphidiorite, but it's not. It's called uh, phos mm. phosphosiderite. 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 I never say things right anyway, so... Neither do I. A third of the stock has already been allocated. Wow. It's beautiful. From Brazil. Going under £20 today. This is a gemstone we do not see very often at all. Thanks to our wonderful relationship with Gemporia, we are under that umbrella. Wow. It means that we can give you out of this world gemstones. Half the stock gone, been allocated and gone. Are you ready to own yours? Sixteen ninety-five. There it is. Your one-to-own price. One hundred and seventy carats. Get two, get three. But by golly, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Quick call to those that haven't done that already. Christine in Devon, Buckinghamshire. Uh, Janice, Louisa, Angela, Carol, Alison, Sean, Julie, Linda, Angela, Sandy, Nicole, Lynn, Jeanette, Carolyn of Hans. It's sold out and gone. I'm not surprised. That is just phenomenal. I, I was expecting thirty-five. Gorgeous, gorgeous, isn't it? Now, Alice and Terry, we will be um, coming, we'll be back with you at about four o'clock, won't we? Oh, after the break. We're getting our money's worth out of you today, girl. You have that cup of tea that John just uh, delivered to you. We will see you after the break. Thank you so much, Alice and Terry. Oh, Terry! Amalite coming up. <laughs> no words needed, just Alison with a big smile oh, sorry, and smile. Oh, sorry. I Don't was absorbed with the Amalite. <laughs> oh, we love you. We'll see you um, and Atlas and Tarry after this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Debbie Kershaw and I'm delighted to tell you that I'm going to be back at Jewellery Maker next Monday for the mid-show. So that's the 8th from 1pm. I've got two amazing kits, gemstones obviously, and some seed beads as well. So a bit of a fusion going on. And if you know anything about my work, you know there's going to be some flowers involved. I can't wait to get back and see everybody. In fact, if I go and wait outside now, do you think they'll let me in? Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. I hope you'll be able to join us this week as we explore another single source location gem. A sunstone with unparalleled levels of clarity, yet at its atomic level, copper infusions that gift this most remarkable natural gem that some of the brightest colors the gem world has seen. It's attracted the likes of the GIA, and six years ago, it attracted us on a pilgrimage to the far reaches of Outback Oregon. This week, we're gonna be ending that six year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewelry making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewelry Maker website and check out our project page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced jewelry maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs.
We are utterly excited to bring you Amalite. So I first came across this gemstone when I was working for another channel years and years and years ago. And if you watch Gemporia, you'll know a lovely lady called Ellis Ward. And Ellis Ward was, um, was doing a, an Amalite ring. It was a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of Amalite with gorgeous diamonds. And we used to call him the Amalite man. He used to come in from Canada and thousands of pounds. And there were like three or four pieces and they were thou high thousands. Gosh, I fell in love with this gemstone then. So there's only um, one place in the world you can get this gemstone from, and that's Canada. And what's happened is these huge... In fact, we've got a VT about this with... Um, with... Um, not Angeline, Adina. Great big sea urchins are preserved under sea sediment. And this sea sediment has kept... It's got a particular composition to it, and it's kept the pieces intact for million, not hundreds, millions of years. Now, of course, there's only so much of this uh, gem, uh, we call it a gemstone now, of this incredible treasure that we can get from the sea. First of all, it's fossilized. It's been fossilized for millions of years. There's only, it's only found in Canada. There's only so much of this we're ever going to have, so it's got an incredible rarity to it. That ups the value, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, ordinarily, you'll get small pieces of this in jewellery. I'm about to give you whopping pieces. Alison Terry is with us. And Alison, I know you just had a ring that you were holding up with this gemstone. Talk to me about your relationship with Amalite. Gosh, I first um, had a piece of Amalite, and I'm going back way back when, in, um, when we were in the other studio. Mm -hmm. And it was a tiny sliver I got. Yeah. And then um, a few years ago, we got some larger pieces, which I was absolutely blown away by. I mean, the colours you're getting from this is you, you're just getting that full range of colours. You could, the red's really coming across, but you're also getting greens and oranges. Stunning, stunning pieces. I, I love anything with an optical property, and I love anything that sort of gives you that colour as you move. And I, Amalite's just, oh, my gosh, just a stunning. Look at that. Now you've got the blue in here, which you can see that we've only got ones and twos of each piece, of course. Now, Alison, yeah, we saw it a lot in rectangles back in the day and they were very skinny yes. slithers. And that's all that they were sort of rationing out because this is, a, as we know, a treasure that has been yeah. preserved for millions of years. Now, this isn't just amylite. I want you to know this has gone through a grading process. And we've actually, have you got the graphic that gives us the... The, um, it explains the, the grading. So to have double A means you've got to see at least two colours, at least two colours. I'm seeing orange in mine. From up here, I've got lots of orange here, but I don't think you can see it on the screen. You can see the blue there. Let me see if I can show you the orange. You can see it along the edge. So in fact, I've got three colours. Shapes and sizes will vary. How many of this piece do we get? We've only got two of these. Um, you will get about this kind of, of weight and size, though. So I'm seeing at least three colours in mine here that I've got, which is about to become yours. These are collector's items. They're absolutely wonderful. They come with their certificate of authenticity. And I would absolutely invite you to get these insured. Get them valued, then get them insured. You'll see what I mean after you've had them valued. Definitely. They're, they're just phenomenal. And I'm loving that shape. I've not seen... Sorry. I've not seen colour that strong. Sorry. You're not the only Even one. The You're not the excited. only one that's loving the Amalite there. Which which hound you, which hound is woofing? Uh, that's that's Zeb. Zeb. That's the coffee. Zebedee is woofing. Yeah, he's been removed into the other room. Bless him. <laughs> that <laughs> that I just I'm I'm amazed. The size of it for I a know. start. I mean I thought my ring was big. That's just incredible. Look at that colour. Look at that blue. Look at the blue. Now, we've got some information for you. Uh, Bruce is just going to show you how we grade. So this is double A graded. You're going to see at least three colours. Yeah. You've got grade A there. Grade A. These are all grade A's. That's grade B. We've got double A here. Double A graded. And, and what you'll notice is, sorry, we're just going to try and take that ticker tape off. What you'll notice here is that some of them, so when the grade B is beautiful and it's got a couple of colours, but it is a bit, um, you've got some cracks in the colour. And what you'll notice with grade AA is that, that it's incredibly 
smooth the transition between the colors I think we're just struggling to take that off aren't we that so you'll see there's an, a, an element of extreme smoothness mm. you can see these incredible <laughs> blues you can see these reds, you can see the orange there. It's quite hard to show you all the colours. It's better with the naked eye, this one. That's just incredible. I'm definitely thinking gallery wire with that or yeah. some form of prong setting. I, I want the maximum, maximum surface area of that to be visible. Me too. I think it's fabulous. Here we have it as well. I mean, this is whopping. Should have been 229. 199.95 now there's somebody talking to the call wow. center about this at the moment i've also got greater london and wendy in norfolk that's your price 199.95 we've got some more examples to bring to you well done for taking the first one on the phone line so now we're in down to the last one there's only two of those so it's, it's definitely a game of the fastest fingers now let me give to you the 29 yes this one is exceptional and you've got the most amazing colors here. Let me see if I can grab it. I can. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> this has been whopper. this is such a such an exciting show, I have to say. Do you know what we've had fun from the off today, Alison? <gasps> Don't tell anyone or they won't pay us. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course we're working wow. very very seriously here. Look. Oh! Wow. Look at that blue. Oh, wow. It's like a shark's fin. Look at the red. Can you see all those colours? Can you see those, Alison, on your screen? Because they're just I wow. Can. The, the, the blue, the green, the sort of orangey going, going to just about going to that red at the top. Stunning, stunning piece. First one's <gasps> gone. We've got three of I these. I love this. I almost want to set that as a shark's tooth. Exactly, definitely. Yeah, either tooth or fin, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, it is yeah. a tooth, isn't it? You do fin. Look at it that. It works for either. Wow. That's incredible. You've got kyanite blues in here. Yeah. Oh, that'd go fantastic with that kyanite strand you had earlier. It would, yeah. It would really bring out the blue, wouldn't it? Price on the web. Wow, are we going under that? Oh, yes, we're going to give you a great price here. Kay, oh, you need to be quick. Um, Louise, Wendy, Candy's taking the first one. If Louise and Wendy check out, they'll have got them. Okay, 12995 is your price. Two chances. Louise, uh, sorry, Candy took the first one. Louise and Wendy, there's somebody on the phone lines for this. And Greater London joins the queue. There are four of you. There is one left. Who's going to, sorry, two left. Who's going to take it? Oh, Louise, you took one left. So is Wendy going to take it or is Greater London going to take it? Is it going to be the uh, telephone bidder that's going to take this one? Dee's now in from Greater London as well. Oh. You've got your extended money back guarantee. It's definitely going to sell out that one, Will. Oh, oh, That's... oh, did it go to Stella? Lanarkshire, loads of you for one there. Now, tell me again what the... Mm -hmm. doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> okay, Lady Terry, just to warn you, uh -oh. this is another one that could go in one of those Viking styles that you've got because it's that kind of shape. Oh. You oh, may fall slightly in love with this. How many do we have, Danny? We've only got two. So, Alison Terry, if you don't want to fall in love, look away now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at the quality. Look at the quality. Oh! <gasps> oh, no. That could be my favourite piece. Let's have a look at that scale again. Look, this is... Oh, double A graded. And it's certified double A graded. You get one left. Uh, Candy took the first one. Lynn's hot on your heels. TLUP 25 is beautiful, isn't it? I, I'm putting the viewers on notice. If that doesn't go, I'm having it. It's, oh, honestly, so, so, I, don't, I can't no, say I will as well. Look. Look at that. That is Amazing. something else. What an amylite. How many millions of years is it? Is it 13 million that I've got in my head with amylite? I Ooh, might go eight. as far as... Oh, so, nowhere near. 71 million? Wow. I always get my sevens and my threes mixed up. TLU, P25, 120 pounds on the nose. Sold out and gone. 
Okay. Next one we've got is going under a hundred pounds and it's massive. It's just okay. it's just the sort of the excitement of having something that's got that history to it, that age to it. You know, it's akin to having amber. You know, it's it, it's it's the romance of the piece as well as the beauty, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Right, I'm going to get quite close to show you the colours of this. Is this another skinny one? This is, it's a big one, but a lot of blue. So it's mainly that deep blue in this one. Wow. It's going under £100 and it's a whopper. First one's gone. You can see these flashes of green behind. Double A graded again. We've got that grading for you. Lots of blue, it's gone. Yeah. 79.95 is that our best price yet that was amazing lowest ever price for that one Righty Crazy. Hogle. alice and tarry uh, another warning for you i know i know what you like girl it's going under 100 pounds and i know what you like alison and you're gonna love this oh no sorry it's going under 50 pounds. How many have we got? Quick, two, go, quick, go. Ah, 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 ah. Look. I'm not going to be that quick. Look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look how beautiful, gone. Not even Alison can fire that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to because my, my, my tablet is on top of my laptop oh yeah we kept getting <laughs> a jumper get before didn't we <laughs> so i am i am handicapped now let's ha oh can we have a look at alison's jewelry from the last from the next kit that's coming up in the next hour I've got, i'm losing all track of time today oh alison those you got so many jump rings didn't you love it love, love this kit the colors are stunning Love playing because I've, I've, I, this kit is, is all about sort of capturing those gemstones, the two main pieces. Now, <laughs> Danny loves those. I love them too. I love how you've encapsulated that green, green aventurine. Not green aventurine. Yes. Is it preanite and the green aventurine? Um, so, so the aventurine are in are in this style of capture. Yeah. And the the and uh, pre -night the is in the, edge other, there. the other style. I just love it. I mean, the colour comes oh, through so well. Wow. You're, ama you're amazing, Alison. You're amazing. I've got one word to say to you. You're amazing. Now, <laughs> let's you, do... Danny, can we do number 12? Because these have got Tarry written all over them, and I really <gasps> want these. Thanks. Have you seen, yes, have you seen these, Alison? Because if not, I haven't. I you're haven't. gonna want them. Sorry to keep doing this to you. I, I know this is my wages you're spending. <laughs> Sorry, I know, I know, I keep doing this as well. Uh, <gasps> hello, natural amethyst. That's how it naturally grows. You anybody who's majorly in to their <gasps> gemstones oh. needs one of these. We've only got 34 of these. Oh my gosh, they're so smooth. Look, only the second time on air, my first time of seeing them, Alison's first time of seeing them. What say you, Lady Tarry? I'm saying I want to do that to one of them. Let's have a look. We better see what Alison wants to do to them. Oh, Alison! So that would go that. perfect. You could get a little dragon on one of those and it would look amazing. You're so good at putting Could you character. imagine that with the amethyst point in, instead of the amber? Yeah, look amazing. It'll look incredible. I love those. You could wire wrap the top; it would work so well. Um, because they're 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 natural at the bottom, um, you've got that ability to to sort of secure your wire quite easily, and that that smooth smooth point. I mean, I, I'm lucky enough to have quite a big. Um, I got a circle of um, geode amethyst. Oh, <gasps> love it, one. Oh, I, I got it years ago from a trade show and. I, I dread to think how much it would cost now. And I adore these points. But they're so, again, you go into your crystal healing and yeah. they're so invocative um, and have so much meaning. They're just beautiful. Whatever way you look at them, whatever you're going to do with them, they're stunning. 
I can imagine putting one of those with the selenite we've been selling as well. With the Again, with the washerite, the selenite. You know the one that that that, that you shine light through and it, yes. it glows. Yes. Beautiful with that. Perfect with Gosh. the sterling silver kit first. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I need to have these, Danny. How much are they going to be? I need them in my life. Stop it. Under, I thought they were going to be 120, something like that. Wow. That's They're... not your price. <gasps> Alison Tarry, I bet, I bet we see Alison from Flinch here in this one. Janice, <laughs> Diana, Janice. But you've Janice, got three of those. You get three. You get guaranteed three. Dawny, collector in Cheshire. Oh, for goodness sake. Dorothy, it's ridiculous. $19.95? For the sake of goodness, for the greater good. You need to get these quickly. Kate, Gwynedd, Karen in Essex, Elaine in South Yorkshire. Oh, gosh, there's so many of you there. Quickly, 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 half the stock is gone. <sighs> Alison in Flintshire, you need to check out your basket, Alison in oh, Flintshire. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> You're going to miss out. Martin P. of the Twisted Crystal. I like that. Helena oh, in Tyrone. Hey. Quick. Have you done it? It won't let you. It won't let you. Alison in Flinch uh, yet to check out, and these are about to sell oh, out. I'm Karen trying. in Dartmoor's in. <laughs> Alison, quickly. Uh, we have got Dawny. Dawny. Uh, Sarah in Essex. We're down to the final few. Ooh. Look oh, my those. gosh. Come on, refresh. Come on, refresh. What does it do? Not, oh, gosh, Karen, she's selling an extra one to her basket. I think we've got two left. Text message in. Angela says, hello, everyone. I'm lucky enough to own pre-made Amalite. I'll have to get a piece to make a brace. Yes, you will. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Definitely. Sterling, so got to go sterling or, or gold, depending on whether you're making it or having it made. Definitely go precious mm -hmm. with it. Absolutely. Definitely. Love it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, can I have my names back, please? Um, somebody sent a very funny text message in that we're not allowed to. Uh, Alison, you've got to check out. It won't let No, it's crashed. Stop. Jennifer in Staffordshire, Jean in Flintshire. Jean in Flintshire might live down the road from I'm you, Alison. Can I say hello to my ladies? We normally have um, a bead group. Yes. Um, and and we we're missing each other because we haven't been able to we haven't been able to meet oh. up. So hi, ladies. Are those we, ladies we, in Flint? we'll be able to meet soon. Are they in Flintshire? Yeah, we have we have it up here in Flintshire. And I'm missing the ladies. What we, do you we've call been yourself? In touch, but what do you call yourself? The Flintshire what? Well, it's just a big group. Well, well to, to be fair, we do all sorts. We don't just do. It started. It started way back when when jewelry makers started. And, wow. and a few of us, um, a few of us started meeting, and we've just carried on. We've just carried on, but we do all sorts. You do other crafts, so Flintshire Crafts United. That's what you're called. <laughs> Flintshire Craft. Flintshire Crafters. That's what you should be called. Uh, now, have we got any of those left, Danny? Because I'd like to buy one if we have. Right. Now we've got two kits for you that last of stock. Ooh. Alison didn't have these, so uh, slightly awkward. These are... Oh, it's not... It wasn't an addition <gasps> to Alison's kit. Okay, okay. Yep, sterling silver wire. Oh, get out. I'm getting it out. Don't you worry about and me. Calcedony. Calcedony, blue calcedony, beautiful. We got those amazing that. earring findings, though, as well, that I love. So they got those really oh. long, elegant ones. And blue lace agate. Blue lace agate. Look, you've got those wonderful Kitty. earring findings. You've got shepherdy hooks. You've got your um, head pins and your jump rings. But you've also got wire, a metre of 0 0.8 and a metre of 0 0.4. Then. Perfect. Chalcedony. Uh, the blue lace agate and the chalcedony. <sighs> it's called easy uh. breezy. Oh, look at that chalcedony. I, I've got that strand. I'm sure I've got that strand of chalcedony. Oh, it's lush, isn't it? I've seen, wow. I've seen it before and I love it. I'm thinking that with the purple strand. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting the name. I can't say the name. Phosphidiorite. 
phosphophidia, <laughs> right? Well, I've got another strand of. Um, Wouldn't that go beautifully purples. with it? I put it with a different strand of purple. Is that oh, purple jade? This from the first hit. <gasps> Look at that! Isn't it gorgeous? That's stunning. Danny, is that purple jade? It's the purple. Pur oh, it's purple cow said. Oh, me. you see, that's why it goes so well. That'll be why. <laughs> Perfect. G A X C 92. This is called Easy Breezy. That's just amazing. Oh, hello. I've just been lurched. What, have you, what are you being lurched? Lurched. Lurched. Not lurched. That's probably something else. Now, I've been lurched. Good boy. Lurcher. Good boy. Oh, little puppy sounds. Twenty-one pounds and ninety-five pence for all this silver. Fab, you, Lars. Twenty-one pounds and ninety-five pence. And don't forget, you've got the gemstones. It's like you're getting paying for the gemstones and getting the rest of the silver for free. You've got those. These are my favourite earring findings of the moment. They're so easy to use, aren't they? Oh, they're absolutely brilliant to use. That's an amazing price. Fabulous price. I think so you've too. You've got sterling silver. If you've got any of the sheet metal from before, the sterling sheets, they'd go perfectly with this kit. Having a, a, a bit of the sheet and then and then having the um, the chip strands, making that into a cuff looks amazing. Yeah, all right. What does he want? <laughs> Attention. Um, well, it, 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 four o'clock's walk time and he gets a bit, you know, he's, and also John's put put tea on to cook slowly oh bless him so he's like hello it's pre-dinner walk yes What's going on here gaxc 92 easy breezy i got home yesterday alison wow. terry and Maeve was looking very sheepish i came through the door and she went like this <laughs> and i thought what's she done and i said what have you done and she was just like this and she was shaking <laughs> She'd bitten the plug off of Max's laptop. And I think Max oh, no. might have urged her to do it. So, because now he can't do his homework. Because it's all on his laptop. All of oh, the but stuff. He loves it. <laughs> so she was like this. Oh. She knew what she loves chewing plugs. Why? The most dangerous thing to chew. Yeah. Chew a shoe or something. Be a normal dog. <laughs> my collie ate me lunch today. <laughs> Make me sandwich. Oh, what was in the sandwich though? Tuna. Well, you left it on the side. Tuna's I good did. for their coat anyway, eh? I did. I, our dogs had <gasps> scrambled eggs for the. Hey, in 14, we've got black wire. Here we go. Key lime pies. These Venetian beauty. <gasps> You've got those. Um, oh, nice. Chocolate limes. Murano. Oh, I love a chocolate lime, I do. We were discussing this the other day. Danny doesn't like them. Ooh. I love them. Aren't these lovely? All right, Danny. That I'd rather eat real gorgeous. fruit. No, he'd rather eat fruit than chocolate limes. Okay. And he doesn't like fruit. That's the point he's trying to make. Okay. All right. Each to their own. That's what I say, each to their own, each to their own. <laughs> I'd rather chew a plug off, Bruce said. <laughs> I, I adore Murano glass. And, it, and it, it's another, it's a bit like Swarovski. It's a name that, that a lot yeah. of, you know, most people know Murano glass. Yeah, they do, you're right. And each, isn't it hand blown? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, on my 50th, I dropped a lot of hints and we went out there for my birthday. Did you we really? We went to Venice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, did you really? Oh, I dropped a lot of hints and then went, oh, look, I found the, I found the, the holiday. You mean you booked it, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look what I've <laughs> accidentally booked. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was incredible, absolutely incredible. And to go and see them doing it and making the glass, wow. Absolutely wow. I feel another trip coming on, Alison, this time with me oh. as well. Oh, yeah, I'm out there with you. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, me and you, on the open road? <laughs> <laughs> or on the open canal. Yes. See, I've got experience with canals. You have. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> no, I mean, it's me and you. What could go wrong? Would you be nervous? Absolutely. <laughs> You'd be like this, no, Jenny. 
<laughs> Put it back. No, yeah. My brother used to have a long boat, and I, apparently I nearly killed my... He really shouted at me, and I was like, what? And he was like, you're about to kill yourself. And I was like, oh, how? No. It's like, because you're about to get squashed between a wall and a boat. Oh. Like, oh, yeah. He's they're, like, heavy. They're, they're a heavy boat. They're about yeah. 16, 17 tonnes, I think, hours is. Yeah, I don't want that on my legs, do I? That, don't get between that and a wall. No, that's that, what I nearly that, did, the apparently. The colours of that is just gorgeous. They are, they're my favourites. I love that green. Now, that would go brilliantly with, the, with the, um, the next kit coming up because you've got those green tones in that kit. Yes, and it's got the, the perfect tones for the jump rings. Yeah. Because it's got that, that rose gold lovely. inside. Um, Danny, you want to give me a, you want a heads up on which now? Who now? We've got another jump ring. Oh, yeah, we've got the fun ones. Boop -a -doop -a -doop Look at that. Stunning. Look at the sparkle you're getting in that Murano. Isn't oh, it know. beautiful? Like an inner glitter, isn't it? Yeah. Love it. I've got the hymn in my head. From the darkness came light. From the blackest of nights. And I don't know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a go. I've had a go at um, glass blobbing and making glass beads. Brilliant. What? Did you actually go to the Murano factory then? No, no. This is here, so it's blobbing rather than blowing. Right. So when you so you start and you make beads and you turn them round and it's it's fascinating. It's brilliant. Where did you I do could, that? I could go mad with that, but I just I don't have the space here. I I wouldn't like to have molten glass near the dogs. <laughs> Yeah, that's and I true. I where to shut them. But I would love to do more glass work. I would absolutely adore it. I want to learn blobbing. Glass blobbing is amazing. I haven't got the puff for blowing, so I could, I could be a blobber, couldn't you I? You could blob. You could blob. Blue, blue, white, red, pink, silver, and like a gun metal. How many should I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, I've got one too many. I think maybe. What's grape? What are we calling grape here? I haven't got any purple, but I've got an electric blue. Anyway, <coughs> would you call that grape? You get grape. I think they mean this colour. That's sapphire blue. Would that be grape then? I've never eaten a grape that colour. Yeah, I have got the right thing. I don't know what they're calling grape. <laughs> grape? What's grapey about that? Sometimes I don't uh, know. Sometimes I don't know what's going on. No, it's right. Can you show me one more time? Is it that silver? Oh, the photo is wrong. <laughs> no, I've got the one you're missing. It's here. No, it's like a pewter colour. There is no purple. There is no grape. That one goes with that. Okay, then I'm missing the grape. Then that explains everything. <laughs> but can we give this? Can we do this? We're going to do it in the next. Oh, after all that, he's not even going to give it. <laughs> From the darkest of nights. Doopy doopy doo doo. Okay, my darlings, we just saw this. Purple cow said, now I grabbed it a minute ago thinking it was purple jade. It's beautiful and it's natural. I don't think we see this Doesn't often. It? Isn't it gorgeous? I think I'd put this in a bracelet, would you? Yeah. I've, I've never seen purple calcedony before. I don't think I have. I love it. I love that. The tone is gorgeous, isn't it? Definitely. I love that. That's going to go... Do you know what? It, did you actually sit there and work out that everything on the on the show today is going to go with everything else? Because it's just um, such a coordinated show. I would say that that was show. down to excellent planning. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of coincidence thrown in there too. Um, I want to put it with snakeskin jasper. Ooh, a bit of shake snakeskin. That's my favourite jasper, that is snakeskin, but it doesn't look like snakes to me. I get very confused by it. Do you think, again, that goes with jade? Yes. Oh, yes, of course it yeah. Under it, £10. W-A-J N-47. Waj N-47. Maybe it's Tom Lean up next. <laughs> do, do. Let's show you the kids. Part of the gemstone family. 
<laughs> uh, ba -da -ba oh, sorry. You can get out of the pitch. Sorry, I've had a little bit of... I'm not the tidiest <laughs> person to work with, am I? No, no. But I'm not the you're, most you're... boring. I'm not boring, though, Alison. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry, I'm one-handed at the moment. The other hand's occupied by the dog. It's, I'm not allowed to stop stroking him. No, I don't ever stop stroking. No, because as soon as I do, he comes and nudges me. <laughs> I like Look that. They lift that. your hand up, don't they? And they're like, hello, what are you doing? And you get the, the wet nudge nose. Yeah. Bless. <gasps> Love that. Isn't it? Look, you've got cubes. Do you know what, Alison? We are lumatics, aren't we? We're looming. Yeah. Oh, yes. That amazing on a loom yeah perfect but you know what would you put i'd put three in a ring maybe more than that actually yeah. bubbles bubble style on a bracelet would be lush as well this is going to sell out you today do, you know you get those those big square rings you could do nine you could do <gasps> three by three on a ring that would look amazing yes gone i love that idea that would look incredible oh, i love them they're beautiful Smoky quartz. I don't know why I'm from New York when we do smoky quartz. Apparently every time I do it, so annoying. And then I always tell you about the time I worked with Joan Rivers, don't I? <laughs> do you know, she was the loveliest lady and obviously hilariously funny. But I used to work with her on a shopping channel in Canada and they used to have to have a thing that went along with the thing saying, we apologise if Joan um, says anything offensive. And it used to go along <laughs> like that because she used to swear on air, but she used to do these watches and you'd be like, oh, and the presenter would be really nervous before she was so lovely, so lovely, like really generous, just a go always talking about her daughter. Lovely she was. Anyway, smoky quartz. Look at those little circus tent tops. What would you do with these, Alison? Okay, browns. <gasps> love those. I love setting those in seed beads because they're like a, a rivoli. Oh, yeah. They set beautifully in, in um, seed beads. Just the bezel setting around them. Perfect. Gallery wire, again, perfect. Make amazing earrings because you've got that double-sided aspect to them. I just love those. Do you want to let them move? Do you have something that's pretty double-sided? So what do you do? Put the, put the seed beads around the edge and let them swing, let them move? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So you'd create a bezel set round because they've got, they've got quite a good girdle on them, haven't they? And you can use that. Whether you're using wire, whether you're going to prong set them with wire. If you've started also, if you've started with your prong setting, these are a great stone to prong set because... Anything that's got um, any cut stones have got such an amazing difference between the, the girdle that goes round and then they, they have a definite corner and you've just got to get over that corner. So it makes it a lot easier to, to prong set when you're starting. M much easier than having a rounded cabochon in, in actual fact. Shush. Woof. And that is what Zebedee thinks of that. I know, that's Lewis. Oh, Lewis, he's having a woof. That's Lewis the Lurcher. You've got lovely, um, a lovely small one here, which I really like. I think that would be nice in a ring. And then you've got the rest are pretty large, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Now, I'd be tempted, and I don't do this very often, but I'd be tempted to make one earring out of that and one have earring. an asymmetric. Oh, yeah. Have a single earring. I like the idea of that. Just a little bit quirky. Yeah. BTB X40. I once didn't have any earrings in, right? And a lady in the supermarket said to me, who I'd never seen before, oh, you forgot to put your earrings in this morning. I was like, no, I just haven't got any earrings. And I was like, oh, ha, ha, 1995. How are you? <laughs> I was like, well, no, I was a bit like, do I? I don't know you, do I? I didn't know her. I do usually wear earrings, but I didn't. She was like, oh, you forgot to put your earrings in. And I was like, oh, silly me. And I was like, I haven't had earrings in for weeks. What's she on about? 1995. <laughs> I love that. I might try that. Just going up to someone and saying something really random, like, oh, you forgot to put your red shoes on today. Like, I do uh, like going up to people and I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll go up to people and say, oh, I love, I love your necklace. Yeah, or... I do that as well. 
I stopped once at I stopped once at a traffic lights and, and, and this lady's house, she was out watering a garden well, she didn't have a garden, she had a pavement and she had all these amazing boxes in front of it. And we stopped at the traffic lights and I wound down the window and I said, oh, Can I just say your flowers look incredible? You've got to. Because you live for that moment. That's why she's watering those. When someone says, your hanging baskets are fabulous, I'm like, I know, um, I use tomato feed. Look at them. I'm like so excited when someone notices it. Having a problem with my little rose bush at the moment. The leaves oh, are going a bit of a funny colour. What can I do? I've put horse manure in it. They're only little. They're ones that go outside my front door, little bushes with little white roses on them. Email in. Text Ooh. in. Presenter's choice, dangerous. Well, I'm not going to do anything too dangerous. I'm going to go straight. Or should I go for? Is that angelite? Yeah, because you did say that earlier, Alison. Yes. Angelite to go with the phosphidiorite. Phosphidiorite. I'll never say it right once because of the ditty I made up. Mm. Yeah, that was going with the purple no. cow said me. So I didn't have the phosphophidia, right? So you and I are I, mad fans of this, An um, Angela. Alison, <laughs> aren't, aren't I, we? I love Angelite. Absolutely love it. And it is, it's, it's so aptly named. It's got that angel blue feel to it. It's just so calming. You look at it and everything just sort of floats off, you know. You, you, I love it. Do you know this is a ready-made necklace as well? So I think you and I might oh, really? be in for this one because you've got an S clasp with it, which I haven't seen an S clasp for ages. <laughs> Bruce went S clasp. There ain't no party like an S club party. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I'm putting it on the wrong one. That's why I couldn't open it. Silly old Billy, aren't I? <laughs> is that S clasp seven? Yeah. You only get one. <laughs> now we're gonna go. That's beautiful. I love it. It's angelite uh, after all. Yeah. Well, because angelite, I've got one piece of angelite in all the gemstones I've got. I mean, it's, it, to be fair, it's quite a substantial cabochon, but I've only got one piece of angelite, and I love it. I love it um, as well. Look at that together <laughs> with the green. Beautiful, beautiful. We... Sorry, Alison, I'm so sorry I spoke over you. No, no, I, I was butting in. It's, it's, it's hard to know. It is. No, it's a, it's a bit that of a... with the aventurine is stunning. Yeah, gorgeous. I love pastel colours together, I do. And again, I'm going to get my jade eye out, and you know. Yeah. Now, after the break, we've got Alison's kit. Everybody's been, everybody, well, not everybody, but you know, so many of you have been texting us in going, that kit, that kit. Uh, tapping in, Tarry. Oh. Love it. Love I uh, This kit, I couldn't, I absolutely had so much fun with this kit. Just adore it. I can't, I, I just love, I love the, the fluidity of this. I can't stop playing with it. I it's stunning. I love this technique. Tarry the Temptress will be back after the break. We really are getting our money's worth out of Alice and Tarry today. It's four o'clock already. How did that happen? Now the Gatto God's going to get his Gatto out in the break. Uh, we will be back though after this. Back in a sec. Hi, I'm Debbie Kershaw and I'm delighted to tell you that I'm going to be back at Jewellery Maker next Monday for the Mid Show. So that's the 8th from 1pm. I've got two amazing kits, gemstones obviously, and some seed beads as well. So a bit of a fusion going on. And if you know anything about my work, you know there's going to be some flowers involved. I can't wait to get back and see everybody. In fact, if I go and wait outside now, do you think they'll let me in? Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. 
Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. I hope you'll be able to join us this week as we explore another single source location gem. A sunstone with unparalleled levels of clarity, yet at its atomic level, copper infusions that gift this most remarkable natural gem the, some of the brightest colors the gem world has seen. It's attracted the likes of the GIA, and six years ago, it attracted us on a pilgrimage to the far reaches of Outback Oregon. This week, we're gonna be ending that six year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewelry making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewelry Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced jewelry maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. 
Hi, I'm Debbie Kershaw and I'm delighted to tell you that I'm going to be back at Jewellery Maker next Monday for the Mid Show. So that's the 8th from 1pm. I've got two amazing kits, gemstones obviously and some seed beads as well. So a bit of a fusion going on and if you know anything about my work you know there's going to be some flowers involved. I can't wait to get back and see everybody. In fact, if I go and wait outside now, do you think they'll let me in? Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Here it is, it's the kit for you. Sorry, I had a bit of an ear problem, so we had to be a bit longer. It was totally my fault, nothing to do with Bruce. Now, let's have a... Oh, is that the chuckle of Tarry? Is that... God, are you there? Oh, she's coming. She's coming any second now. Now, we have got for you the kit. Have a look. You've got those copper jump rings. Again, so many of you have been asking for these. 800... <laughs> Tarry, tapping in. Tarry, all I can Hello? Is, Hello? Oh, they're rose gold, sorry. Rose gold copper colour. Alison Tarry, the jewellery you've made from this kit is beyond fabulous. Talk to me, baby. I love, I, I love it. So, so ca capturing the gemstone, love it. So easy to do this. Um, a simple weave. Um, earrings, made earrings. Wow. So, Danny's favourites. <laughs> They're gorgeous though. They're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. I had loads left over. Um, I, did, I ran out of time. Bit Helm's Weave. Wow. Just loved it. Absolutely loved it. Needed more time with that kit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've got so do. much left over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of jewellery. Wow. And you've got loads Thanks. left over. Sorry? And, and I've got, got loads, loads left, left over. over. Hang on, hang on. I'll, sh I'll show you. So uh, I've got uh, that many jump rings left over. Oh, my word. And where's the... And that's the two... The two um, strand so there's a bit of each there's, there's probably getting on towards half of each of those gosh and loads of the um micro faceted i adore this strand um oh, red on, i want to red i want to it. use that with some wire as well so wow absolutely fantastic phenomenal kit i don't know what price it's going mm. to because you get so much in the kit now so you much. used the red onyx around the outside of one of your weaves, didn't you? I saw it earlier, the one where you've got the green in the middle and the red onyx. So yeah, I've, I've popped them in, in, in there. So, so basically I've used some um, featherweight head pins, which we've had on the show, yeah. to pop these on. And they work so well with it. They just work so well. It's stunning. And I've used them on the... Uh, oops. Make me... My bust's not standing up. Stand there. There you go. Don't fall over. You'll upset the dog. So I've used them on the bottom on the bottom here as well. So I've got loads of stuff left over. This kit is going to go and go. If you if you uh, uh, um, well if you're an established um, chain mailer, keep going. You know you're going to know what to do. If you're new to it, this is a fantastic kit to get you into it. Absolutely brilliant. We're going to give you a clock to get ready. Now, Danny, could you just tell me what, um, what diameter I've got? Five, five millimeter, four millimeter. Sorry, in order, sorry, in order. Three, four, five, seven millimeters. That's the inner diameter. 200 of each, 800 altogether. 
One minute to get yourself ready. That's a lot of numbers, but let's do it. More numbers. Uh, the telephone number. Call 0800 6 A more of a limited edition kit than the last one. We've only got 70 of these. Jewelrymaker.com. How many did we have for the last one? Right. And the last one sold out, didn't it? Or we got like two or three left. Jewelrymaker.com on the web, you last say. Oh, Dan, there's another way. You can download that app for free on your smartphone. This your is tablet. just... Yes, you can. Stunning, stunning kit. I just, and I, I love this technique. And and this is all. This is all. I would say, fairly easy beginner level um, chainmail as well. Beautiful. Is it really? Is it really beginner? Yeah, because I suppose it's a pattern, isn't it? Once you yeah. get it, you just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. So you could make you could make a necklace one of these. You know, I've made the earrings. So so, you've got your earrings length i actually made these after i'd done the demo because i had i had short short lengths left over so i'm <laughs> like oh there's a pair of earrings there I love and, you, it. and you just keep going so you can keep going till you run out of jump rings perfect i don't think you're gonna run out of jump rings easily with this red on it no you've got low rose gold on copper jump rings green Stunning. aventurine and preonite let's go shopping uh, and i think this is very um unisex kit yeah, i would 100%. say the sterling silver was more feminine than masculine yeah but i would say this is very much very much a unisex kit it goes both ways doesn't it yeah absolutely but again they'll work together they'll work with the kit we had the the antique bronze kit we had earlier um like i say i don't know what the price is but i would i would multi-buy if you can now we don't know where this kit's going i've just Go on. If it was £35, yes, it'd be great value. Yeah. Great value. You've made so yeah. much, you can make so much out of this. Even I wouldn't sell that for £35. Yeah, yeah Even see, I. <laughs> yeah. It would have to be a lot more, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's a fraction of the kit. So... It's on the web at £30 and 15 pence. That's not our final price, but half the stock, did you say, Danny? Half the stock... Yeah. Gone. <gasps> Under £25. That's what Alison Terry just heard and I heard in my ear. £24.95 and away we go. It's called Mother Earth. BXXC93 and I think if anything 2020 has done to us, it's made us listen to Mother Earth a little bit more. Let's hope anyway. Sandy, Alison, Suki, wow. Alison in Cheshire, Alison in Leicestershire, Lynn Dorney, Hazel Glenn. Go the Alisons. <laughs> There's a lot of Allisons. It's the Allison fan club. I've got more Allisons than that, actually. Uh, check out your baskets. Isabel, Jan uh, Janice, Glenda, Hazel. Um, uh, Allison in Cheshire. I have got Irene, Angela. You've got yours. Claire, Sandy, Susan, Wendy, Lynn, Lexi. Cheshire, two for you. Sue in Buckinghamshire. I've got County Durham, wow. Martin P. Hilda, Greater London with two. Terence in Norfolk, Eleanor. Wilma, El Elzebieta. I've got Yvonne. I've got Joan. I've got Sandra, Elaine, Nicole, Helen. Uh, I have got Margaret. I've got Ghislaine in Kent. I've got Morag, Gabby, Jackie, Laura, Sandy. Check out baskets. Oh, gosh, there's loads of you there. We are going to sell out any second. We've got 25 unchecked baskets. Uh, we are now approaching single figures, so now is the time for 24.95. What super value, Alison Tarry? Absolutely phenomenal value. Stunning quality gemstones. Such a great variety of, of um, jump rings. You can do so many weaves with it. Like I say, I've I've done a few weaves with it. You could do you could do Byzantine with it from the demo before. You can do well. I've done Helms weave with it. I've done a boxing weave. You you can do so much with this. And I mean, they, I just find these so tactile. Both of these are extremely tactile pieces of jewellery because I I've been sitting here just playing with them. Um, they're they're absolutely fantastic. And and this one, um, I haven't demoed this one. Um, maybe next time we do we do something um such an easy uh, such an easy demo to do such an easy um weave to do and and this i just adore this absolutely adore it we can tell a bit we can tell a bit <laughs> it's lush it's so beautiful this kit's going to sell out we are going to go to alison tarry's demonstration in about at about half past the hour um before that we have got 1,000 gold-plated jump rings, star by.
jump rings. So we reckon, Alison, the average bracelet of, of um, quite an intricate weave is about 200 jump rings, don't we? Tarry, tarry, tarry. Tarry. Um. Oh, there she is. Sorry, start again. We couldn't hear you. Bruce forgot to turn you on. Oh, well, that's because the dog sparked earlier. Oh, it wasn't I will Bruce's fault. If, if they kick off, I will hit mute. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, a Byzantine, I think, is about 200. Depends. It obviously depends on what size jump ring you're going to use. Um, this one was the 5 mil, um, and I've used... That was just shy of the 200 um, from that one. Um, so, it really does depend. But then if you do... So this is the larger, this is the 7 mil and the 4 mil, but you could do it with 3 mil. Um, this is a Helms weave, um, and that, that uses a fraction, a fraction, because, because look how far those beads go. So it, it really does depend what you're doing. Um, but, but yeah, if you say, let's do, let's do an intensive bracelet, it's going to take about the 200 mark. Perfect. Confusion on my end. Oh no, I'm being so silly. I thought you only have four bags. I've got five and that is a thousand. I was, like, I was going <laughs> two, four, six, eight. You get 400 of the seven mil. So we have got 407 mil and then you've yep. got five mil, four mil and three mil, um, 200 of those. You get absolutely stacks here in that gorgeous gold. So that's um, gold plated jump rings and they're gold plated <laughs> on a base metal. That you really need... Don't worry, we won't be much longer, puppy, I promise. Then you go for walkies. Sorry, I said the word. It's OK, they don't react to that. They can't hear over... I don't think they can hear Skype, can they? Do you know that? Oh, yeah, they can. Oh, they can? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, yes. They also know the, the, the call thing. It's like when someone dials up, they go ballistic. <laughs> They're like, no, you're not allowed, mummy. So this is with the 7 mil <laughs> internal diameter shush. <laughs> is it because he wants to go for a walk? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at his little face. He could not be any cuter. Look at his eyes like... <laughs> Just say, Lewis. Do you want to wag your tail? Are you wagging your tail? You want to go walkies? <laughs> oh, Ayo. <laughs> walkies. It's a woofer! It's a woofer dog! <laughs> Bonkers! But yeah, so, so if you've got a thousand with the other... Shush! Enough now. So the collie's gone out, that's why they're complaining. John, John and the collie have gone out, and they haven't. <laughs> I like what you've done there, John. I'm just going to go off with the calm one, and I'll leave you with the uh, crazy ones. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh no, trust me, it'd be a lot worse the other way round. Oh really? <laughs> He'd be going yeah, mental. Yeah, collies are crazy. <laughs> Okay, let's talk. We've got this amazing bundle for you. It's not all collies and lurchers. Now, 1975 is your should be price. What? Now, Alison Terry just shouted what, and I'm thankful for that and not a swear word, because this is going under £10 for a thousand. <gasps> a penny a jump ring, a penny a jump ring. That'll do, won't it? A penny a jump ring. That oh, means that's a multi-multi-buy. So if you've used 200 that's of these in a, in a bracelet, that's only cost you £2 to make. Is that right? That's ridiculous. If it's ridiculous. a penny a jump ring. Yeah. There's 100 pennies in a pound, isn't there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loads of you. Loads of... Oh, we might have broken the internet. I think we've broken yeah. the internet a little bit. You think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at all these people. There's loads of you. It's like a jump ring party. So, so I put those. If you if you did this with the with the gold colour, and put the angel light in the middle. Yes, I've got the angel light here still, so I have. Doesn't that look amazing? Unfortunately, it's gone. Now, Alison, I know that. Uh, see, I'm mad for a kumihimo. It's my favourite threading I... thing, um, and I know that kumihimo and macrame are such easy techniques. You don't need to add anything to them. Nope. You don't need to add findings. You don't need to. If you don't want to, you can. That's not to say you can't. You yeah. can, of course. But oh, the colourful jump rings. We have got this coming up for you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Rightio. Did we? Did we find? We didn't find, you get one more pot of jump rings in these, which is purple, which explains the grape. Because I'm going, I've never eaten any grapes that colour, being all self-righteous about it. But of course, it was missing. 
So you will get your grapes, don't worry. You'll get your grapes, don't worry about that. Don't give up the grape. So, now I would be using these with the with the other jump ring colours. So I'd use these with the gold and mix them in. So you get a, you can make patterns within your jump ring. So if you if you if you take a basic um, flat weave, as, you know, if you think chainmail shirt that they used to wear. At, uh, can you imagine how heavy that would in battle? Yeah, in medieval times. Yeah, yeah. But if you think of a panel like that, you can actually do patterns in it with the different colours. You could, and yes, you, you could, can, and you can mix and match. So, so let's say, let's say you took a helm's weave. Sorry for leaning, but I've got a dog in the other hand. So, if you took, if you took the helm's weave, and you put the middle jump rings in one colour and the outer jump rings in another colour. Oh, I love it. And you've got, you've got, so you've got double jump rings there and single, double, single, double, single of the big ones. So again, you can mix and match those, and you can play and use and use colour within your jump rings the same way as you would using two lots of wire three lots of wire different colors and it just gives you the most amazing effects it's great i remember fleur always telling us it's great to use these colored jump rings because yeah. they help you practice with what your um which ring goes attached to it so it's good to use different colors because it's very easy for you to identify yeah. which ones you've added when you're following a pattern now you're going to get one more pot and they are going to be purple and they're five millimeters how many do you get a hundred of them i think you get a hundred of them it's either one hundred so or two hundred two sevens and two two different sizes there yeah yeah the yeah and the five. Nine, no three different sizes because we've got six mil five, five mil nine mil five now you're going to get loads. You see, that, that to me says two, two, two different ombres there. You've got the blue tone ombre going on and you've got the red, pink, down to white ombre going on. You could do your red, I'd, white and I'd, blue. And you can, if you do a simple, if you do a, um, if you think of a spiral chain, that's a really nice weave to do. Yeah. So, so a bigger version, if you like, than the chains we, we sell. Um, and then you could spiral that down and ombre it, and it would look phenomenal. Perfect. Absolutely. <gasps> We've only got ten left, and I've got so we are over allocated. Actually, I've got Claire, Arlene, uh, another Claire, Vivienne, Sally, Carol, Dorothy, Collector in Hertfordshire, Cambridgeshire, Shani. I have got uh, Greater London Town, Linda in Kent. Uh, you've all got unchecked baskets, and you are going. We are now down to the last of about six, I think. Now. <laughs> Daddy home? Now, these ones, where is it? These are pewter, so they're not silver plated, that's pewter for sure. Pewter, pewter, pewter. I've got a big bundle here of the silves. Oh, he's on it. Okay. So you've got the pewter, or we're calling them grey, but they're definitely pewter. And then you've got, so these are copper with a plating of pewter and silver. 100, 100 of the pewter and the 207 millimeter. Nah. These are lovely. Silver plate they are. That, that. Pewter, I mean, to me, is very gunmetal tone. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's going to go stunningly with either the copper or the or the um, gold ones we had. Will look amazing. And having that extra size in the nine mil, fantastic. It's, it's this is a lovely bundle, isn't it? I think with that sort of gunmetal, that's the traditional colour anyway of armour, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Because because they feel. Sorry. They'd, they'd be steel. The links would be would That's be it, yes. iron or steel. Gosh, how heavy! And imagine if you had a hairy chest. It really. <laughs> did they must have wear, worn like something underneath them? Because otherwise, oh, you wouldn't be able yes. to take it off. You'd wax yourself, wouldn't you? It'd be like ah. <laughs> you'd have you'd have a leather. You'd have a shirt on. Then you'd oh. have a leather on top. Oh, crikey. And then you'd have your chainmail on top. I mean, the weight they carried was phenomenal. Yeah, that's not on, is it? Absolutely amazing. And then if you imagine you had plates as well. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> 300 pounds. No, Sorry, Alison. Oh. Apparently a shirt is about 40 pounds weight. 40? 
40 pounds in weight. Yeah. Could you imagine walking around all day with that? Let me think. A pound of potatoes, right? <laughs> Times 40. Yeah. What? <laughs> I kind of don't even want to carry two bags of potatoes on a... I went for a... No, absolutely not. And that's not. just your shirt. That's without the... the, the the, the under helmet part, that's without any leg parts. How do they lift their arms up? They must have been like this. I can't fight you because I can't lift my arms up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that accent came. I don't know what accent that was. We're watching Outlander at home at the moment, so we're watching a lot of battles going on. We're obsessed. £7.95. 300 jump rings all together. Uh, this is an incredible price. Do make sure, you, listen, if you've got any questions, now's the time whilst Alison Tarry is on the phone lines. It's mm. definitely the time for questions. And there's no such thing as a naughty, uh, not a naughty, a bad question. Naughty nope. question. There's definitely such a thing as one of them. Uh, Susan <laughs> there's says, only a question you don't know the answer to. Indeed. I reckon that would make an amazing rosary link, that, that uh, pewter colour. That would, uh, Ooh, not yeah. rosary, uh, uh, a Mobius ring. Yeah, it would. Because you could get so many in there, because it's the nine mil, you could probably get seven or even nine actually done together. It'd be incredible. Now, Susan in Dorset's texting and said, I don't know who is doing all your kits and products lately, but it's spend, spend, spend. What money saved in lockdown? There's worse things you can... There's worse <laughs> things. Look, it could have been spent on fuel. Be spent on something nice instead. Yeah, I hate absolutely. putting diesel in my car. I'm <laughs> angry while I'm doing it. So I'm like, I, I did say to John the other day, we should have put, put the odometer on and seen how actual far we've gone, because it's virtually nothing. We've put like £10 of fuel in the, in, in the car for the whole of lockdown so That's far. That's the great thing. And I, do you know what? I don't know. What, this is just my idea, and I'm not political or anything like that. But I think once a week, like one week in the year, everything should shut down from now on in to give the earth a rest. Wow, well, yeah. Be nice, don't start it? me. Don't know. even start me on what's happening now. We've gone. People have gone out again. Don't. Don't. <laughs> let's leave that. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a bit. I'm just. Don't. Also, don't get. Don't. I came in. Wound don't go up. in. It. <laughs> my big thing is. <laughs> my big thing is the unkindness of words. I can't bear it. If you can't be nice, get off social media. You don't belong there. End of story. Don't make me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, we're going to, let's look at Alison's gorgeous jewellery, that'll make us, uh, that there's calm, calm, we are now calm. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was named My old Dan. photographs have been uploaded onto my Facebook page. Brilliant. Well. So it's, Alison, no, it's JM guest designer Alison Terry, if you are kind and you can go on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and I only need 25 more people to hit the next thousand. Oh, Alison Terry, we need 24, 25 more likes. Yeah. Right, to, to get the next thousand. <gasps> Love these. I can hear the scrabbling of little tiny paws again. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, gone upstairs. <laughs> Rose gold on sterling silver. Beautiful. Right, uh... Look at that. That, look, the, the, they're like a mirror finish. I absolutely adore our sterling silver clasps in all the metals. I mean, look at the quality in that. I'm a mad Just fan amazing. of this. Amazing. Do you know, I've had those earrings in since lockdown, I reckon over two months. They haven't tarnished. They've been in rose gold and your ears, that's where you wash your hair and all that. Yeah. Have you even, ex have you experienced any tarnishing yet? Because it will happen, won't it? But I'm not, I haven't had any on mine. No, and, it, and it'll happen if you look after them. I mean, if you sit them in, in, in full sun in the window and leave them there, then they're going to tarnish. Yeah. But if you look after them, then, and like you say, if you've worn yours, they, I find they last for ages. Yeah, me too. But, you know? And then you've got sterling silver underneath it, so it, it's almost welcome when you see that sterling silver come through. You're like, oh, I love silver. You know, it is, I mean, the quality here is outstanding. Absolutely. That's solid, by the way. That's not a hollow piece. Four ninety-five. Yeah. You've got nearly so one and a half grams of uh, silver and rose gold, and, and rose gold is so fashionable right now. 
and and absolutely perfect for your for your chainmail clasps. Like you say, we were saying earlier, you want you want a, a sort of a sturdier crap clasp for a bracelet like this. Look, spot on. That's what yeah, I've got. because it's got it's weighty, isn't it? It is. It is. It would look if you had a small um, trigger clasp or or boat ring clasp. It would look a bit odd. Yeah. But you need you need something that's that's fitting to the size of the piece you're making. Definitely. Can you? That. Could you um, put it the opposite side of where it is right now, Alison? Is that okay? I think you're over one side. Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. No, don't be sorry. I keep sorry. forgetting and moving it over there, there go. and, no, and going honestly, underneath the... Honestly, please don't and be my sorry. And my mum phones me up after and she said, you needed to move it over again. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Mum. Mums do that, don't they? Mums they do, do that. They Hi, do. Hi, Alison Tarry's lovely mummy. Your mum's a jewellery... Your mum's a crafter, isn't she? She is. She is. It's her fault. Yeah, it's all mummy's fault. Absolutely. <laughs> Now, and the animals, that's all your mum's fault as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think my granddad, my granddad was a big one for animals. I love them. Can't live without them. Now we've got I more, could be jump without. Ooh, it, more jump rings. It's like jump ring topia, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to call it jump topia. Now. And I, the nice thing has been having jump rings made like because... Jump because, ring topia, um, isn't it? Recent past... I'm, Jewelry, whereas these are done for you, which is fabulous. So we have got here 407 millimeters and 405 millimeters, 200 in each bag, of course. And you've got that rose gold on copper. Very nice. I just love the colour. Yes, it's a beautiful tone, isn't it? Mm. It just—it's beautiful. Yeah. The kit's sold out. If you want to make and make and make, maybe you're batch making ready to sell. Because you know what? Markets are open at the weekend, aren't they? Oh, are they? Yeah, you're allowed to go to well, markets. We're in Wales, nothing's open. <laughs> hey, maybe a market will be open, though. That'd be nice. No, not Half in Wales. There. Oh, no, yeah, you're in Wales. Different rules. Yeah. yeah. You don't want us English in, in Wales. No way. <laughs> not at the moment. Up. Come later. I don't, but I don't blame you. I really don't. <laughs> £17.80 is your should-be price, but it ain't the price we're going to stop at. Agnes, Kathleen, Diane, you're there. Elizabeth, Carol. Nine ninety-five. That's £2.50 a bag. Good, isn't it? I'm waiting to see all this jewellery coming up on the Wall of Fame. Oh, I can't wait. And we've got loads of DVDs if you're worried about how to do yeah. this. There's loads of tutorials on our, um, on our YouTube and of course, we've got Alison Tarry, JM guest designer. Alison Tarry, you can um, you, you can chat to Alison on Facebook. You're quite active on Facebook. Not overactive. Yeah. You're just the right amount of active. <laughs> <laughs> if I haven't got back to me, please don't think I'm ignoring you. Just give me a nudge. Yeah, I'm the same. Sometimes I don't. I don't on my presenter page. I don't get notifications when someone sends me a message. So if I don't go into my messages, I've got no idea someone's yeah. messaged me. Do you get that? Well, I do, but also John and I, uh, we have access to all the accounts. Oh, so he and might open he's it. looked at it, I don't necessarily realise because it's then gone off my unread. Oh, so I'll apologise and hold my hand up. Gosh, no, honestly. Listen, now. Yes, we can. I love this. S long cord, my lord. Nylon cord. So if you want to do micro macrame or <coughs> knotting or anything like that, this is ideal, isn't it, Alison? What? 2,080 metres is what Alison's saying what to. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I keep forgetting because I can hear Danny sort of know, speaking. Yeah. Oh, and the point three. Nice. Yeah, aren't they lovely? Lovely colours, aren't they? Oh, ombre in there. We've definitely got an ombre going on. What would you do with this, Alison? So, macrame. And there's... Uh, Nadia does the most amazing, amazing macrame. Have you seen Nadia's uh, overbed my... hanging? Sorry? Have you seen what's hanging over Nadia's bed? Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I saw it while she was... You wouldn't make that with this. <laughs> no, no, you'd be there forever. You need big, <laughs> fat stuff for that. But this is great for micro macrame, great oh, for micro hemo. You could knot with it, couldn't you? I was going to say, it's great for just knotting. So if you've got any of the larger of the larger bead sides, you can, you can do your marlas with it. You can just do a knotted strand with it. Um, you can... You can gather it together and do big knots and have, have big, um, 
almost hippie pieces with it. It looks amazing with a few gemstones on. Absolutely really, really good for, for, for use. But you can also, if you do um, a, a kumahimo with it and you make some strands, you can use those within your gemstones, uh, within your, what they call, we've been doing jump rings. Yeah. And you can oh, yeah. you can sort of thread it through the jump rings and get amazing pieces. So you can you can mix and match the threads in with your jump rings to get to get different effects, Perfect. which look incredible. Here we go. Look but, at those silky colours, aren't they? Mega <laughs> nylon cord bundle, thirty three pounds and sixty pence, is another your price. Two thousand and eighty meters, love all those. 0 0.3, your per meter. Now, what's that per meter, Danny? Because that's in the haberdashery. That's what you're paying per meter, even in some of the bead shops. Not even a penny a meter. And gone are the days, Alison Terry. We remember that half penny. Yeah. There's nothing. No, that... Yeah, you can't buy anything with it. Well, you can here. Birds are in Colorado. Maria, what that, a price. That's Sally a fabulous Elaine. price. It's a brilliant it's price, isn't beautiful. it? Loads of you. The Loads eight, of you. Eight of... Wow. That's amazing. That's less than, that's less than two pound each. I know. It's fab, isn't it? It's not like a five or a real minimum and jewellery makers' prices. What is this a real, Danny, now? Per real, so. £1.86 a real. Wow. That's, that's phenomenal. You know, I know it seems daft, you haven't gone back to school yet, but summer holidays are coming up. Kids, hey. kids off. Fabulous. Get, get them knotting. Get them doing mm -hmm. macrame. Um, Some kids you can, aren't you going can, back. You can and use you these with your then. with your um, uh, endless looms and things yeah. like that as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, the brilliant, brilliant, fantastic projects out there that you can use with with cords. Definitely. Absolutely love it. Now we're going to give you that those bright snacks. Very busy on that one. Oh, I love that cordy bundle. You know, I love a cordy bundle. I love a cordy bundle. Bum, 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 ba, bum. We're going to give Alison's demo in a momo. Momo. Now, these are bright. These are fantastic for kids. A little bit of a thicker cord this time. Great for decor because they're mm -hmm. thicker. These are wonderful. I love this sunny yellow. I'd put these all in together, I would, in a kumahimo piece. Nice. Friendship That'd be bracelets. amazing. They're great. So you, because you could chemo hemo, and I've seen them. You can kuma hemo um, headbands and things for the horses. A yes. brow band. Yes, you can. Loads of people are doing that. So you can do flat kuma hemo. Looks incredible. You can do um, it on the yeah on the brow band. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd like to do the reins with it. I'm not sure. I trust the. Uh, no, oh, that'd hurt your hands. The horses I've ridden in the past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or dog leads. But you can <laughs> embellish. So you could you could do a section and put it on a lead you know or on your or on your collar for your dog you know i've got because of the lurcher i've got a very really broad collar for him because they have spindly necks and that would look amazing to decorate the neck with and also it's going to be quite bright so you're going to see it straight away yeah because they go quite fast don't they uh, oh yes zoomies <laughs> they're little zoomies we've got 200 in each so 800 meters 200 meters I love this bundle. Six pounds. So Fantastic. what's that? One pound fifty each, something like that. Oh, it is. It wow. is exactly that. I've mathed. I've done the math. Um, MCXC twenty eight. It's a rainbow bundle. I love it. Terry, jewelry maker. Right. So I don't know whether we've got any on the website, but you could make amazing tassels with these. Yes. And we have a tassel maker. That would be fabulous. Sorry, I'm pointing at the telly. <laughs> Rainbow tassels, you could do. <laughs> they'd be brilliant as tassels, wouldn't they? Yeah, they'd be brilliant. Uh, a few texts now. Wendy in Norfolk, I just liked you on Facebook, Alison. There we go. Oh, thank you very much. Alison, how, many, how many new likes did we need? 100? Um, I'll tell you now. Hang 99 on. now. Uh, sorry, I have, to, I have to move it out of the way. Wrong, wrong one. Christine. Keep Dave. talking. Come back. Uh, 84, 20, 26. We I need 26 need. more likes, please, to get Alison up to um, what? To 3, what 000. number? To what number are we at then? Three thousand. Yeah. 
Christine's asking what's got my go on social media. Just everyone being nasty to each other, Christine. I don't, th I don't think it's very nice. And I, do you know what? I think I might follow you. But I like Facebook and Instagram, apart from that. Bertha says, hi, Jenny. You are a hoot, which is a good thing. Calm, calm. We are all calm is now my mantra. To calm, calm. We must all be calm. We must. We've got to keep calm. Because I get so... I'm like... I feel like I'm a Jack Russell. Like, I'm actually a nice person. I'm small and I'm yappy. But I, but I just want to wag my tail. And I don't understand why I can't. Six pounds for this. Alison Terry, we love you so much. But let me tell you, I think there's a, hound, a pack of hounds ready to be taken on their walk. And I so we are going to... So. We're going to release the hounds and we're going to release the tarry. We love you so much. Thank you. When are you back before you go? Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. We'll see you then. I love you loads. Mwah! <laughs> Love you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Love you. We love her. We love that lady. She's just wonderful. Click and like. JM, guest designer, Alison Tarry. She only needs a few more likes to get her up to that 3,000 mark, and she deserves it. She works very hard. Now, it's time to ready yourself with your record button. If you're thinking, Jenny, I don't have a, I've only still got four knobs on my telly, I'd say this to you. Don't worry about it. Do you remember when you could only get four channels? No, you won't remember that. You're, oh, you do. And then Channel 5 happened and everyone was like, I'm not watching that channel. Awful things happen on that channel. Like, it was so funny. There was such snobbery. And then I was like, well, I am. I love, what was that thing? Euro trash. I used to love that. Hey, welcome to Euro trash. Uh, is that what it was called? Yeah. Oh, that was Channel 4. Sorry. Oh. OK. Uh, we will be back after Alison. Ta oh, if you haven't got the record button, this will be on YouTube. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 10 miniatos. Today's demo is a chainmail bracelet um, and I Today's demo is a chainmail bracelet um, and I've encaptured the gemstones, beautiful adventuring rounds, um, completely inside this tube of chainmail. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're using uh, in, in, in a diameter five mil jump rings and in a diameter three mil jump rings you only need a few of the three mil but you you use most of your 200 um of the five mil then you need an, um, enough aventurine to do the length you want um that's about seven inches plus the chain i know it sounds big but bear in mind it's chunky so you have to make the bracelet bigger to be able to to accommodate your wrist okay then you need flat nosed and chain nose or you can use a bent pliers um but basically two pairs of pliers round nose pliers bear with and a little scrap of wire you can use beading thread instead it doesn't matter all it is to do is to to secure the the gemstones until you take it out so it's just easier to have a firm um fitting rather than the more loose right let's get cracking so we're going to start off with one of our oh start off by opening your jump rings so i pre-open i pre -open, i was pre-opening them in batches rather than doing the whole lot of them because they when you put them together they can snag and it makes it harder to pick them up so pre-open i don't know 20 or so um and then do another batch when you've gone so far of your jump rings you're starting off um with four closed of your three mil and you're going to open up one of your jump rings. For those of you who are new to chain mail and jump rings, you're not going to open that way. You're going to twist so that they open a gap and then you can twist them back. If you open them the other way, you can't get that round back. So we're going to slide on our four um, threes. Now, these are nice and pliable. Oops, let me get me other pliers. Um, but it's easier to do two pliers. And there we go. And close it up. So that's our starting point. We're now going to put one of the five mil in each of the threes. So we're going to pick up one of the five mil and pop it in each of the three mil jump rings. All the way around. Fetch them down here. The larger jump rings I find I can close like that so it's your choice it's probably not the recommended way but 
since when do I do things the recommended way? <laughs> so we're just going to close those up. When you're doing it on the bracelet, um, it becomes a little bit more difficult because you need the extra space. Just get that one in there. But the start is just nice and easy. Just make sure you're getting that click and close properly. Okay, so that's our starting point. We're now going to pop that. The round nose pliers are just put a loop in the bottom so that it doesn't fall off. And that's just to help these not fall off the end. Now, initially, that will just fall straight off the end if I let it. I'm going to thread on my aventurine. Make sure your length of wire, this is obviously a shorter length of wire. However, you can make earrings. But make sure your length of wire is plenty long enough because you won't be able to add in. So I'm just, just going to pop those on there. And now we're going to bead around them. So if I turn this upside down, I'm just going to pop a little loop this side to secure it. And it just gives you that firm footing now. So our beads aren't going to fall off the end. And we're going to work down so our jump rings won't fall off this end. Now at the moment they're all loose and you find this stage it's all a bit fiddly. So we're going to pick up our next. Now where we've got each of these, which are overlapping, so each of the um, five mils we've just added, we're actually going to join the neighbours together. So we're going to go through one, out through the next one and close okay and when when you get going a bit more it's easier to do it lying down but at the moment they they don't hold together in a circle so we're going to pick up that one go through to the next one and close that one through to the next one and then from there on it, it, it it's repetition but the start same with everything I don't care if it's seed beads uh, wire work whatever the start is the fiddly bit right so the last two pop you in place just want to hold those so I can get underneath there we go and close. I mean, this you can adjust the size of the jump rings to accommodate different size beads. Um, so we've got four around. Don't worry about these sticking up. We're going to use those later. So we've now got four going round, and we're going to continue adding the next layer to each of the layers going down. Now you do that for the length of your work. So I've got a short length here that's already done. And you can see how that starts caging and it's just adding four beads at a time going around. Then when you get to the other end of your work, so we're going to now add on our um, smaller jump rings. And we're going to go one through each of the last of the um, five mils. So we're just going to close those up. Making sure you're getting the right ones. In there. And do make sure they shut properly because if you don't, you'll get a, a scratchy um, bit. Of, it's not likely to come out if you if you because that one was sort of crossing. It's not likely to come out, but if they they don't uh, sit flush, then they they'll scratch your skin. Not badly, but you'll feel it. Your finish won't be so good. So close that one up. See. Sometimes they'll just cross over, just ease that in to position. There we go. Make sure it's flush. So now we've got the smaller ones in, we're going to take another of the bigger ones and we're going to feed all of the small ones in, making sure they're all from the same direction. Okay, and I'm going to go underneath that wire 
get one through there. Just pull that bit of wire up through the last one and close it up. All right, it's not quite. Come on. I think I've done this a little bit tighter than I did before, which is why I'm struggling to get that through. But you want to go through that last jump ring, pop it in place, and close that up. There we go. I shall tidy that up in a moment. Now we've got our fully encased um, strip. Like I say, that makes great earrings. We're just going to trim off. Make sure you don't cut your jump rings. I'm going to trim off that wire and then we can slide it through. Now they're fully enclosed and we can go back to this jump ring and just tidy that join up there. There we go. So now we need to add the, um, the rest of them. So whether you're going to add on... Um, whether you're going to add on a clasp, whether you're going to add on um, some chain, because you could actually have that as a neck piece, or whether you're going to add on earring uh, findings, you're going to need to bring those four jump rings together. And this is the hardest part with these, is actually finding where they are. So I'm going in two by two. So I'm picking up two of the smaller ones and I'm going to close it. There we go. And the same on the other side. But by putting that flat one on, you're actually stopping stopping these beads coming out. So I'm going to pop that one on there. There we go. And now we can pull those together. So now we can fetch those next two together. And on the bracelet, I've then done a, a two by two chain. So that's two jump rings in two. So you can see we've come, those two jump rings we've set, fetched together with that one. But I'm going to put two jump rings in each now. And where's the, there it is. There we go. And then if I just pick that up on there, you'll be able to see see how it's um, forming now. So whether you've then put a, an earring hook in that or create a little two by two chain like I've done here and then put your clasp on the end, you're good to go. And there you've got your chain mail bracelet. Alison Terry, everybody. Well, what a day we have had so far. What a day. Carol today with Mark. Fantastic morning. Us today with Alice. Well, do you know what? Just when you think, we literally, how can we top it? How can we top it? Hang on a minute. We can't. We can't. I'm confused. We're not going to go to a break now, are we? Afterwards. There's no break. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know what the rules are. Let's give you, what are the rules? Well, let's give you some feather light head pins, feather weight head pins. It gets really annoyed when I call them feather light. I don't know why. Oh, it's a brand of something. What's it a brand of? Oh, I apologize massively. Now, dear me, sorry jewellery makers, I didn't realise. Here we go. I did not know that. Is that why you hate it when I say that? I'm so sorry. I never knew. Let's not go into that then. I'm absolutely shocked at myself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Here we have 
Rosa gold, sterling silver, feather weight, head pins. <laughs> And they are 40 millimetres. And the reason you want these is for finer gemstones or beads. And, you, and particularly in, uh, in particular pearls. Because pearls tend to have a skinny little drill hole. 10.95. These are solid sterling silver. So that is what? How much each? One pound and nine pence each. Am I just going mad? 11 pence, yeah. Did I say 10 pence and 9 pence? <laughs> oh dear, jewellery makers. Sometimes you just think you've lost your marbles entirely, don't you? Now, I have not shown my three in a box yet. No. It's your 5 o'clock star bay. You've got three beautiful rose at quartz. They'd be better with a black background, to be fair, I think. That white's kind of drowning in them. They're gorgeous. Now, loose tanzanites. Now, we're going to keep going. Oh, let me put them back. I don't want to get on Paul's nerves. I do that naturally anyway. Let's not do it on purpose as well, because that's double nerves. Mm -hmm. He <laughs> took the words out of my mouth, says Paul. Now, where are we to? Remember when my mum texted me because she wanted to see what you look like? She texted me and said, can you put that Paul on air? Because me and Auntie Jean want to know what he looks like. <laughs> my mum lives with my Auntie Jean. Now, do you remember when we were saying about how you've, um, you're like the Russell brand of jewellery maker? Once you've opened your cloak of love, no one's safe. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Someone take me off air. Now, <laughs> rose gold on sterling silver. So you've got that flat piece there, which I love. And it actually prevents the, um, the earring from slipping. And then you've got the ball there too. So there's a lot of rose gold. There's a lot of sterling silver. Six pairs, OHR, F38 is your item code. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence is your price. Fabulous price for this. They're super lustrous. They're very expensive looking, and they're going to go so, so well with your high-end gemstones, morganite, kunzite, uh, rose quartz, all those pinkish, gorgeous tones. But I love this with garnet as well. The deep, deep rouge noir garnet. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Seven ninety-five. Alexandra, you've got yours in Argyleshire. Uh, I've never been there. Where's Argyle? Oh, Butte and Argyle, isn't it? Or is it Argyle and Butte? Jane in Essex. I'm a little bit, we're, we are a little bit obsessed with Scotland in our house at the moment for reasons I uh, spoke to you about earlier. Now, Wenda has asked you for multicolour, Mrs. Wenda has asked for multicolour quartz. I hope Mrs. Wenda's watching. Mrs. Wenda, multicolour quartz for you because we've been asking for it. Did you tell it, did you message her back or not? Can't really do that. You don't have the. Oh, we can't text you back. So we're not allowed to your phone numbers for the data protection thing. I won't go into it. Hun uh, sorry, 380 carats. They're lovely, aren't they? They're really deep coloured. And these are um, a big favourite amongst our guest designers, you know, because you've got lots of different colours in one strand, which means you don't have to buy... How many colours have we got? One, two, three, four. Is that a different colour to that? No. Four... So about four colours, that'd be four separate strands, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, Jenny. Good, thank you. Talking to myself here, jewellery makers. You've got all these lovely colours. I think either end of a chainmail bracelet, actually, in the, uh, in the rose gold kind of colour. Or the antique bronze, actually. That'd look lovely, wouldn't it? Twenty-four ninety-five for 12mm rounds is your should-be price. Macrame, a big tick on that. Lowest ever price coming up for you, by the way. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. If you've already paid your PMP today, it is stretching out uh, until midnight tonight. So keep shopping. It's a one-basket price all day long. Mm -hmm. XKKY ninety-one is your item code. Collector in Suffolk, Kate in Dublin, uh, Jeanette, Lisa in Care Philly. You've got yours. Is Mrs. Wender going to see them? Lisa, you've got yours. 
Suffolk, you've got yours. They'll be on the website, hopefully. She'll be able to come back to them, if not. 695 or XKKY91 is your item code. Hey, do you know what I miss? Yeah, I do miss that. Danny went watching Fireman Sam and not having any bills to pay. Yeah, mine was Rainbow Bright and not having any bills to pay, yeah. No, bingo. I do get, I, I used to go bingo Stevenage all the time, love it. But when it's a serious night, you've got to be careful because they don't like you if you're quite, even if you rustle a packet of crisps, everyone's like, shh. But you know, in between, they're like, oosh, oosh, and everyone's got, they do this, and then their head's down. I find it, it's just, fat, I love it. Uh, isn't bingo ace and you know what cheap drink cheap food and you could possibly win money what's not to love and they look at you funny when you make a noise and it, and it makes your friends giggle because they're like "Ooh, naughty and you're like <laughs> no do they have bingo in, in america yeah they'd be yeah they'd be heavily into it like, like they probably invented it didn't they i think they do have it don't they yeah, this is gorgeous. These are beautiful. They're your pendulums. If you're a crystal healer, you need it. But if you just love beautiful... Th oh, again, I always talk to you about the um, mobile that my grandma had in her front room. You know, the White Witch, that one. My grandma, her name was Ursula, but in front of uh, people that she didn't want to know that she was a grandmother. You had to call her Sue. Auntie Sue, actually. Uh, 198 carats of clear quartz. These, anyway, she had these in a mobile in her front room and she used to say that the fairies flew through them uh, because they used to make amazing little, um, well, like, you know, when little flickers on, against the wall against her white walls, they look, used to look amazing. I used to always think, oh, look at those fairies. RTR U57, 198 carats of, I love these. They have to go on a necklace, don't they? Unless you're extra bougie and you know what I'd do with it then. Handbag charm, darling, yeah. If you're feeling the mighty... Oh, it's bougie clock. It's the bougie hour. It's the bougie hour in the next hour. We've got loose tanzanite gemstones for you. 12 95 for this. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the strand. You just have there or thereabouts. 198 carats. You might have more. RTR U57, a huge thank you to Alison Tarry for all of her amazing inputs in the last uh, couple of hours. In the next hour, we step into the bouge hour, where anything could happen. But whatever is going to happen is going to be high end. It's going to be luxurious. It's not just any hour, Dan. It's the bouge, bouge hour. hour. Yeah. Go and get your dinner jacket on, Dan, okay? Okay. And those extra expensive loafers that you sometimes wear, okay? Yeah? yeah. Have you got a Cuban cigar? Don't smoke it. It's bad, bad for you. You can just... Uh, twelve pounds and ninety-five pence for this. Do make sure you're checking out Rose and Kirsten. You haven't uh, checked out Beverly has, Gillian has. Uh, I've got Donna. Yep, all about the bouge hour in the next hour. We've got those rose quartz coming up for you as well. We've got ruby. We've got uh, Russian diopside. We've got sapphire. It is indeed safe to say we are stepping into luxury. After. Jewelrymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelrymaker. I hope you'll be able to join us this week as we explore another single source location gem. A sunstone with unparalleled levels of clarity, yet at its atomic level, copper infusions that gift this most remarkable natural gem the some of the brightest colors the gem world has seen. It's attracted the likes of the GIA and six years ago it attracted us on a pilgrimage to the far reaches of Outback Oregon. This week we're going to be ending that six-year journey by finally bringing home and launching Oregon Schiller Sunstone. Hope you'll be able to join.
this Thursday between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Did you know that when you book a jewellery maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewellery maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tanzanite was discovered by Manuel de Souza in Arusha in Tanzania. Manuel was an Indian tailor who had a passion for exploring and prospecting in Africa. Affectionately known as Mad Manuel, he mended clothes to pay his way across Africa, usually on foot and unarmed, seeking gold and diamonds in the remotest of places. In July 1967, fortune smiled on him as he stumbled across a brilliant blue gemstone glinting in the Tanzanian sunshine. are delighted to be bringing you a beautiful double A graded Tanzanite. This gemstone has taken the gem industry absolutely by storm. It's shaken up the sheets and made us open our eyes to this incredible pleochroic gemstone, a true forget-me-not blue mixed with these French royal blues, flashes of pink, flashes of burgundies and purple gives it its double A grading. This is the only one we have in the world. Here's your certificate of authenticity. Let's get our heads around why this holds the double A certification. You will see the flashes of pink running through this. Can you see it? Look at that gorgeous, brilliant cut. Love that oval. Would this be going in a pendant? Because for me, I just want that. Bridal style, very, very delicate. Maybe a white gold chain, maybe silver, maybe argentium, and then in a pendant that's raised up. So a lovely gallery on that. Let the light go through. Let this sparkle for you. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now we've only one. We've only one. Double A graded, certified for you, so you can get this valued straight away. Ooh, I think you might be getting it insured afterwards. Four hundred and seventy-five pounds is a guide price, and that's that's comparable with the, all the Tanzanites out there in the world right now. However, we're going to give you a two hundred and seventy-five pound discount discount at one hundred ninety-nine ninety-five. You know what to do. This, by the way, is a gemstone that's representative of new beginnings. December's birth gemstone, an ideal gift for somebody who's just got engaged, an ideal gift for somebody who's just had a baby. R E U P eighteen. You've got there's two of you with this Tracy in Kent and an anonymous buyer. Who's going to get this first? This is your price, one hundred ninety nine ninety five for just a, a, a slithering under one and a half carats. By slithering, I actually meant smidgen. I got my slitherings and my smidgens mixed up. 
Well, I do look a little bit look like Draco, Draco Malfoy today, don't I? Do I look like Draco's dad today with this hairstyle? I do, don't I? Because I got a little glimpse of myself and I was like, all right, Draco's dad, calm yourself down. 199.95. <laughs> do I? <laughs> oh, well. I'm not evil like him, I swear it. I'm more like Luna. Uh, R-E-U-P-18 is your item code. Now, there's two of you there. There's the, the ah, by colour. Number 10. Rare as hen's teeth, these. Rare as hen's teeth. Beautiful tanzanite. Where's the grading on this, then? Well, well, I don't know why. That's all I'm going to say. And I don't think you'll know why, either. So you're going to get an ungraded... I'm not being funny. When you look at this... Not being funny. When you look at this, I, I don't understand why it's not at least double A. Look at this. Look at that colour. Oh, well, I love that cut. It's so modern, isn't it? How many do we have, Danny? Well, you make the most beautiful. We've got two of these. You can make earrings if you're quick enough. Isn't this beautiful? I can't get over this. Why isn't that? Look at the depth. Look, we, we can all see the depth of blue there. I've got no idea why this isn't double A. But, you know, I, I think you could take advantage of that. Right now, you get it separately graded if you wanted to. Danny says he thinks it's his favourite. Deep Prussian blues. Beautiful electric blues. Wow. This is beautiful. You've even got a flash of green in there. What an amazing... It, it, it is mesmerising, isn't it? Mesmeric gemstone. Love the cut on these, by the way, do you? Beautiful cut. 1.9 carats, guaranteed minimum, and there's two of them. On the web at 699.95, and that's at your everyday price. If you tune in tomorrow, you'll see it at that price if it's still available. And uh, lots of people do come in and buy our loose stones without them coming on to air. They just go, do you know what, I need it. It's been requested by a customer maybe, and you come in. When you're watching during live hours and you see these incredible collector's moments, know this, so many jewellery makers out there that sell their jewellery on with high-end gemstones get them in anticipation for those high-end commissions. Are you ready to get yourself maybe, maybe both of these? Maybe both. 179.95, maybe one, maybe both. Maybe a pendant, maybe a ring. I'd love to see it in a ring. I think it would look so, so modern. I love that cut, super contemporary. Beautiful, isn't it? Amazing, amazing price for you. Isn't that gorgeous? Have a look. Beautiful. Collector in South Lanarkshire, are you going to take one or are you going to take two? Beautiful. Looks like that may go any second now. First one's gone. XDU P31. Let's keep going. Now we have got for you some information. Oui? L'information? About the cutting. I don't know what that is in French. So uh, information on the cutting of this incredible gemstone. I'm here at a lapidary uh, in Tanzania and watching these brilliant people that are all doing some great work with the, with the, the rough gemstones. And the reason why they're doing so much work on it is because in 2009 the Tanzanian law changed regarding the export of rough tanzanite over a gram. So any tanzanite that was to go out the country, make sure over a gram had to be faceted. So that means a lot more work for the people of Tanzania, of course, that are now doing the work that you can see taking place in the room. It's brilliant. Okay, I've got something really... Thank you very much, Scott Wasfold. Uh, now, I've got something very exciting. Now, I think this is the first time since I've been back I've seen a triple A graded tanzanite, but I'm not just giving you one. You're getting two triple A graded tanzanites ready to be put in earrings. Now, do you remember yesterday we had the rectangles, didn't we? They sold out. 
I think they were double A though, weren't they? Well, they have to be. I haven't seen a triple A yet. These are certified triple A. Now, I'm about to show you the colour. How many of these do we got? Oh, do, do they ever? Now, we've got four of you that can come in to get... Um, so, they're in pairs. Now, I really want to undo this. Do the colour. How many of these do we... What is going on? Do you know how freaky that is for me? It's not in my head. What, did everyone else hear it or not? Stop. Don't you guys. Now, you get both. When you see, sorry I pointed, when you see the colour here, it's so deep, it's so deep, these sea lawn blues, but you see the flashes of, I don't, look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stop talking and let you decide for yourself because I don't think you even need words when you see these colours. And look, they're certified. You get two of them. Look at the depth. Look at that depth. Oof. What a colour. Now, I'm seeing way more pink than you're seeing, which is kind of frustrating, because I'm just looking there, and they, you can, look, you can see these amazing different tones. Crikey. You know, that's, that's Cartier blue, isn't it, darlings? Look at that. Oh, sorry. Come on, come on. Aren't they beautiful? Everybody's goshing over these. They are triple A graded. Let's have a look at this. They're triple A graded. Dan has just seen some earrings for £1,500. £1,500? You're already, you're already on the phones for these, actually. Triple A graded, look there. Certified. Whoa, they're gorgeous. You could make two rings out of this. They are absolutely engagement rings, I'd say. Right, so um, carrot-wise, is that six and a half carats? Is that per gem? That's not per gemstone. That's for both of them. So they are three and a quarter carats each. And they're ovals. Yeah, they're ovals. And they're checkerboard faceted. I can't believe this. And you get both. Four chances. Are you mad? Wait, can I stop a minute? Stop. Right, hang on a minute. What are the rules? How is this? How? If you don't get on the phone lines now, we're going to give you a minute. Now, these are going, what, what do you mean? Per gemstone. These are going under £200. If you want to, you can separate and sell them for maybe double that. I don't know. Maybe triple. I don't know. This is an opportunity never to miss out on. You've got your certificate of authenticity. You've got the most beautiful gemstone, deep and rich in colour. Beautiful. And you know they're graded. Ooh. My word. Can you imagine these in your ears on your wedding day? Can you imagine gifting your daughter, your sister, your best friend these earrings on their wedding day? Go and get them valued when you make... Right, let's go. Let's have them. I can see you on the phone lines already. HXUP36, you're ready. You're ready for them. I know. They're going under £200, so that's less than £100 per gemstone, which to me is utter bananaism. I'm going to just pop that on its... Uh, there we go. So you can see the behind of these. And the facets are glorious. Beautiful. Are you ready to come shopping for a pair of triple A's? Do you know, that's not, do you know, to be honest, that's a good, that's a great price right there, 200 pounds. Well, you know that's not your price, don't you? Angus, you're there. Anonymous, you're there. They're going less than 100 pounds per stone. Less than £200 for the pair. This is as mad as a squirrel in a swimming pool. £195.95, that's crazy. You don't see squirrels swimming around leisurely. It would be mad. H go! Go! 
We've only got three left, and I've got collector in wheelchair Justina, Anne in Merseyside, and Susan in Sussex. One of you will miss out. Collector in Angus, uh, Anne in Merseyside. Now, we've got two left, and I've got Jennifer in Antrim. Uh, I've got Dorothy in Midlothian. I've got Justina. I've got collector in wheelchair. Susan in Sussex takes one. Lorraine's there. Anita's there. Dorothy, Jennifer, Justina. One of you, only one of you is going to be successful. I'm doing this, looking at your names, and then I look down and my stone's not there. That just, that just sums my life. That sums my life up, that does. One chance, only one. Will it be Anita? Will it be Lorraine? Will it be Dorothy? Will it be Jennifer? Collector in Wiltshire. Collector in North Yorkshire. Justina in Nottinghamshire. And Justina takes it. Woof. Woof. I'm woofing. That means that it's definitely serious. Woof o'clock. Well, you're not going to beat... How are you going to beat that deal? Should have saved it till the last. They are popular. Let's do the very popular triangle. This time, double A graded. Look at this. There's waste involved. There's waste involved with the triangle. color so pretty do you know what's striking about this stone the incredible clarity the fluid tones you can see the pink flashing through can you see that pink this is gorgeous gorgeous You've got a full carrot. We're going to give you a little bit more information about how we sort this gemstone. This is the final sorting process uh, here at Tanzanite One. You've seen all the heavy machinery outside. They've got the, the electronic way uh, of, of measuring. They've got the old uh, coffee bean technology. They've got the sorting by density. But you still have to go through the last stage and sort out the gemstones from the rough. From here, we then come over to this side of the room, uh, and here is what they call cobbing. This is the, it's not gemstone cutting, it's not fasting, but the actual cobbing of the gemstone. They're taking off the last little bits of graphite uh, and hammering away, chiseling away, if you like, just so that the only bit that is left at the end is the very valuable tanzanite. And what's really impressive about uh, today's find is that a lot more blues coming out, a lot more natural blue. And what you tend to find is, as we go deeper and deeper into the earth, because there was more temperature further down, uh, more temperature of course means uh, that the colors are already there more vanadium uh, as well so um, very very interesting that if you were here four or five years ago you'd have seen less blue pieces more of the brown and therefore a lot more heating process but a lot of the pieces now that are coming from deeper under the earth are already naturally blue Isn't this? I, I, I love the journey that a gemstone takes as well, and I think it's so important to know that. And I think the more we see things, the more we see, uh, you know, you could go into any jewellers and buy something because it's pretty, but to know it, to understand where this comes from, is something else. The knowledge behind the beauty is just, to me, most of the story. I love it. What an amazing gemstone Tanzanite is. We've got two of these, so you can make a pair of earrings. A little bit obsessed with making pairs of earrings, aren't I? Should be 250 pounds. Just five pen, just, just a little bit uh, shy of 250 pounds. We're gonna give you 100 pound discount for being on air i'll take it 149.95 oh no that's a q q x u p 42 is your item code you're on the phones for this there's somebody on the phone who's in for it winda thank you danny anything for you in the words of gloria Estefan. 
If you can remember who she is. My mum, my mum used to love her back in the day. There was a real Gloria Estefan Sade phase going on, wasn't there, in the late 80s. Now, that was a double A graded. If you want a bit more stang for your money, what number, Danny? I got it. Now, it, it's quite curious, actually, how this isn't graded. Beautiful. What was the carrot weight in the last one? So you've got 40 points extra in this one. These grabbers have seen their, their better days. I know, I know you asked. You did ask on Saturday though, so you ain't going to get a response till Monday. Oh, fair play. Oh my gosh, the colour! Can you really... Can you really tell me that that's not a double-A quality colour? Look at the cut. These are... That's beautiful as well, isn't it? So you've got a bigger carrot weight than the last one, and we're going lower in price only because it simply hasn't been graded. Beaut. It's a beaut. So the last one was a carrot, this is 1.40, and it's 7.5 by 7.5 millimetres. Would, how many of these do I have? Oh, it's the only one. I was going to say three would be nice, wouldn't it? Because you'd go uppy, downy, uppy. You're in a dream world, I'm being told. Sorry. <laughs> it's been said to me before. You're a fantasist, Jenny Cleary. and never get on the telly. Oh, <laughs> look who's laughing now, Mrs. Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Science teacher. Uh, <laughs> ZRU P74. $129.95. Incredible value. Absolutely wonderful. Look at that colour, look at the player charism, look at the clarity. Collector's piece. Have a look at that. Um, Bruce would like you to know that he failed his German GCSE and his German teacher during collecting his results put his hand on his shoulder and said, I told you you were going to fail. To say. Whoops, the Daisy Tin Pots. Do you know what? Shall I tell you a story? I was naughty at school, as you can imagine. <laughs> Two things in history. I love history, and I did this really good essay, and my teacher went mad when she got it in, and she went, Jenny Cleary, how dare you slam my paper down? And I was like, what have I done? And she was like, you've got an A star, that's what you've done. Have you ever mess around in my class again when you're this good? And I was, I was like, all right. Second time, she wasn't there. Mrs. Foster, we had a, a sit-in teacher. And I was trying to be a joke and I had a pair of tights on my head. And <laughs> he told me to take the tights off my head. I was such an eejit. And I said, what tights? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know what he did? Do you want to know? Get, have a guess what he did walloped me <laughs> not not good of course but yeah he did he did do that if i shouldn't have had the tights on my head should i wouldn't be able to get away with that anymore but hey now I'd, dan have you got the have you got the time dan is it oh, uh, is it fine? it's wolf o'clock yeah, yeah oh blimey it's 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 five past wolf Text us in your school stories. What, have you, what did you do at school that you just think, wow, what was I doing? Uh, now, number 233. 
I am very much in love with. I love the spaces you've used. I love the silver pearls. And it's Tripti. Tripti writes, please see my wall of fame entry, a bracelet made from peacock, potato pearls and fasted spinel. All from, my, all from jewelry maker. Can I also say that I need to stop watching Jake on Thursdays? I'm spending way too much with the new beautiful gems he's bringing. And I can't wait to see the meteorite fragment I purchased. It. You, <gasps> meteorite? There was a meteorite fragment. Well, I can't wait to see that either, Tripti. Please send it, put it on Facebook for us, please. Number 233, good luck to you. Oh. My. This is wonderful, wonderful. Anila, hi Anila, you always shop. This is, look at that. Anila, look how amazing Anila is. Here is my entry for the Wall of Fame. I've made this brooch using amethyst, cabochon, and Swarovski with delicates, all from jewelry maker. Anila is beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that cabochon. I love what you've done. Fabulous. Wait a minute. Wait a blimmin' minute, mate. Wait a seed beading minute. Wait there, guys. You need to see this. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Number two, three, five from Heather. Look at Heather. Hello, jewelry maker. I hope you're all safe and well. This bro Heather is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a brick stitch using Mayuki seed beads, Swarovski rounds, and shell pearls. Thank you for keeping us entertained during this very weird time, and I hope you all remain safe. Same to you, Heather. This is wonderful. You, you lot, make me go. Ugh. Oh, I love the. Oh, I hope you're selling these. These look fabulous. Olwyn. Hi, Olwyn. My mother of all pearl scoop arrived. Uh, mother of all pearl scoop. I love that. Uh, spent many happy hours sorting through to see what I have. There are loads of lovely things. I sorted some out into pairs and I've made the earrings in the photo. That must have been um, in the morning show. What a great bundle. I love that bead scoop, do you? I'd like to enter it to the Wall of Fame, please. I'm making them in preparation for the charity where I work to reopen so that I can sell them for fundraising. Oh, what a lovely thing to do. Thank you so much uh, for contributing to charity. And I think that's a lovely thing. And it's a lovely, a lot of our wonderful jury makers do that. And how, one, how unselfish and wonderful of you. They're fabulous. Fabulous. Look at this. I think this is absolutely for sale. Wow. Sterling silver and amazing turquoise. 237 is from Sandra. Wow. I just loved working with this lovely Kingman turquoise. A bit expensive to buy. I'm not sure if I can part. Well, don't. Keep it. It's gorgeous. Thank you, lovely lot, for carrying on and keeping us entertained during awful time. With much love to everyone, Sandra. Sandra, that is fabulous. I haven't seen that Kingman turquoise. I haven't seen it. Now, we've had a text in, have we, Danny? Let's see. Just waiting for it. There we go. Vicky! I was a dental hygienist and one of my old teachers came in as a patient. I was not gentle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Jenny in Bristol, I nearly got expelled just before O-levels. So O-levels are like A-levels. Uh, so I left, to, um, I left, so I left for tech to do A's. Now I have a BSc and an MSc. So eat that, teachers. Yeah, eat that, teachers. I love Bristol. The thing is, it's too many bants at school, and it's such a temptation, like, learning is fun, but I can do that any time. This is bants, and you're, like, doing it, aren't you? Um, it is a fun time being at school. I keep, I keep saying to Max, mate, these are the most bants time of your life, and Mia goes, no, it's true, it is bants. Like, you won't have bants like that ever again. Max is like, what? These are the only bants I'm going to have. This is a terrible thing, and I'm like, it's not. You look back on this with fondness. I think now, now he can't go to school, he knows. Well, to be honest, he wants to go back to school now. I was telling you, wasn't I? But he doesn't like the group he's been put in. He's like, I don't know anyone in that group. I'm not going. I'm like, well, I think you are, my love. He's like, I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Kids, eh? Now, Mozambique. Montipue Ruby. Now, that is a colour. That's a colour. How many? How many? I need, I need both of them. These in ears, earrings even. B 
beautiful. You've got to put this in an earring, haven't you? I love rubies. Well, actually, I'm, I am a little bit ruby at the moment. So my daughter's favourite colour... My daughter... Not her favourite colour, necessarily. But she looks amazing in red, right? So she's decided she wants a ruby ring and ruby earrings. And I'm, th I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what? It's a striking colour to wear, isn't it? Beautiful. Rubies and emeralds were Henry VIII's favourite, apparently. And he was quite a bougie show-off. He, he might have been the original bouge, mightn't he? Hmm? What do you think? Love that colour. If you made the earrings, would they be up that way? Or up that way? Mine, I think it would be up that way. You know they say if it's a ring and it's pointing towards your heart, you've got love. If it's a way, you haven't. If you do it on the, um, if you do it on the, on the ears, is it you're, you're clever or you're not? Do you know what I mean? In love, not in love. Clever, not clever. I don't know. Maybe I'll put mine on the slight wonk then in that case. Clever in some areas, absolutely nothing in others. Ruby, fancy pair. It's going under £100, utterly beautiful. This is July's birth gems. Do you know what? I want to put it with classic gold. I really do. Peridot. Can you imagine this with Hunan Peridot? <sighs> beautiful. 99 Oh, my word. Cashmere Peridot. Gorgeous with that. I love those two colours together, you see, do you? Stunning. W-I-U. P96. Look at the facets. Make sure you're checking out baskets. I've got unchecked baskets here. Okay, Bruce has got a brilliant story. So you know when you go off on, were you swimming, were you? Like a swimming trip? Oh, they went on a badminton thing and they got back on the coach and the coach driver says to them, is that everyone? Oh yeah, the teacher said he'll make his own way back. So the coach driver, they made that up. The coach driver started pulling off and just as they saw their teacher running after them. <laughs> When you got back to school, well, why? What did, the, did he crash you up, the coach driver? The teacher rang her head and said he'd been left behind. <laughs> 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 Not being funny, but why did he let all of his pupils just go off? <laughs> I hate that when they do that. <laughs> no one leaves it till we find out who told the driver to go, right? Well, no one's going to say anything. Do you know what I did? This is terrible. You know, orienteering, we all went up to the Cleve Hill in Cheltenham. Um, so it's like Cleve Hill, big hill, right? It's opposite like the, what's the big hill again in, you look across to the big hill in Wales. What's it called? Mulvins, not in Wales, in Mulvin. Anyway, we were, and I said, uh, right, we're going to go for an adventure. We're not going back to school. And well, I was talking to the girl about this the other day because I saw her not long ago. I saw her at my friend's funeral. And um, there's a girl called Charlotte Tudge, and she is the most well-behaved, lovely human being, right? Never done a, anything wrong in her life. And I said, Tudge, Tudgy. And I was like really best friends with her brother. You know you're going to have to come with us. And she was like, I can't. And I said, look, we're all going. We're going on an adventure. We can't leave you on your own. And she was like, oh, please, no. And I was like, look, come on. It's going to be fun. You can, like, it'll be brilliant. And you know what? If you come, there's no way they're going to smell a rat. They'll think we genuinely got lost. And she was like, all right, but as long as they genuinely think we got lost. Obviously, we've been about six hours. The whole of, like, everybody was in search parties for us. And the same thing happened to me on a Spanish mountain, and I was banned from school trips after that. Um, but, yeah. Oh, oh, let me tell you something really funny. When I went on my Spanish trip, I've got nothing in there. Um... Let me just tell you one quick story, right? So I got banned from school trips, not just for, for that one. Um, I got banned from school trips because we went to Spain, Santander, 
and we went um, and we went to this zoo and the, there was a monkeys in a cage about this big you can guess what I tried to do, can't you? Tried to set the monkeys free. And um, I was nearly, I, I'd got the padlock open and they caught me just in time. And I was like, it's cruelty. Obviously, I'm quite glad I didn't get the padlock because I probably would have got attacked by a monkey and had my face ripped off. But I had to sleep in Miss Mellon's bath for the rest of the, for the, rest of the holiday <laughs> because I wasn't allowed <laughs> with other human beings <laughs> or monkeys. <laughs> Because I'd already got lost across a mountain doing the same orienteering trick. Now, <laughs> hey, I wasn't boring though. My poor mother, Andersi. Look at this colour. Do you know when you bite into a strawberry and it leaves that colour on your lips? That's this colour, isn't it? The juice of the strawberry. This is Taroko Red Andesine. It's untreated. That's what that U stands for. Gosh, look at the colour. This sparkles like a red diamond. I can't afford red diamonds. I haven't got millions, but gosh, this is going to be affordable in comparison. If you love your red... God, I, do you know what? I think this is... We only have one. I think that's got to go in a ring, do you? Do you think that's beautiful? One hundred ninety-nine ninety. Uh, sorry, 199 on the nose. We're going under £100, but you've got to be quick. There's only one. I know you've got dreams of putting this in a ring. I would put it with nine karat gold or silver. I think rose gold might be too much for it. It's beautiful, isn't it? But that's not to say... No, maybe not. Better than half price. There's two of you in for this. You've got to be quick. Look at the Kool-Aid. Let's lift it up. Look at the way the light comes through this. Stunning. Now, two of the next one. How much is this going to be? Because I want it. Okay. It's going under £30. You've got a pink sapphire, guaranteed pink sapphire, guaranteed size, guaranteed shape. You've got to be quick. How many again? How many again? Two. Only had a little bit of heat, no dye, no coating. $29.95 straight down to your price. 35 points. We've got two of these. I think this is one that you can put away. And then, you know what, when, you know what I was saying? I want to get these but while they're a great price. And then maybe in five years' time, my daughter says, you know what, I've got a special occasion. We can be like, okay, let's do something with this. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? 35 points. VZU P05 is your item code. You've got that sparkle, you've got that gorgeous colour. They are gone. Now, yes. Look at this. So the I'm just reading. It's oxygen on oh, oxygen. I don't know what an oxygen is. Octagon, but it is buff top. And I thought, what's buff top? Well, it's quite apparent. Look at that. Oh gosh, that is gorgeous. It's go is it golden rutile quartz? It's beautiful. Let me just nudge it in properly. There we go. Do you know what? Oh, my prong's sticking out. What's going on? Get you back in. Get ye back in. I'm speaking ye olde English again. <gasps> my gem grabber just gave up on me. Luckily, Dan caught it. You ninja. Dan caught it. Well done. He was like this. Ninja reflexes. Dan Dan cameraman. Should I not use that gem grabber then again? Because that really scared me then. Beautiful. Go all the way around this. So you've got, so the corners are cut, look. 
And then you've got that lovely buff top. I love that. Look how smooth. Beautifully smooth. 1795. Lots of you there. It's great to have your company. Susan, Elaine, you've got yours. Greater London, you're shopping. 1795. When's Greater London not shopping, eh? PNU B27 is your item code. Totally natural. Utterly gorgeous. Now, me dears and me darlings. We've got strands for you now. Russian, don't. <laughs> Russian, Danny goes, oh, can you not speak Russian? All right, calm down. Don't cry. Now, Russian diopside with that rich, gorgeous green. We've only got single figures of this. Do you know what this would be amazing for? Bougie Tree of Life designs with gold. It would be, wouldn't it, though? Oh, Christmas tree. That's a bougie tree. Is the Christmas tree the bougiest tree of them all? Or is it a golden pear tree? Twelve ninety-five XJX a P71. I've got an Australian eucalyptus tree in my garden. Twelve ninety-five. What eucalyptus? It smells of eucalyptus oil. XJX P71. Beautiful. Oh, koalas do eat eucalyptus, don't they? Huh. Hmm. Beautiful. Three left. Carol, you've got yours. Candy came in for two. Brand new jewellery maker, welcome. You'll get two free strands and a get started DVD. Do I want to do colour change garnet? You know I do. I love it. So in incandescent or candlelight, I have a little candle on tonight. Do you know what I've been doing? I've been, I've been on the incense burners. Yeah, I didn't call them incense though at first. I called them something else and my daughter screamed at me. Yeah, it sounds like that word, but it isn't one, so I have to be very careful. But I've got the oud smelling one and they smell amazing. It's like a dusky, like everyone's wearing oud right now, Denny. It's really expensive. Now, look at that colour. Beautiful, isn't it? It turns like a... Have you got anything on the, on the colour change? Because it's, it's mesmeric. You've got like... Um, pap it's really hard to explain. So like flashes of burgundy and, and burnt oranges. You can probably see them a bit if I... You can see the greens in here, you can see the oranges already. But when you put this under candlelight, it changes. We could put, um, has anyone got a lighter? No, not, not, no naked flames in the studio. They vape, they don't smoke. DNX P87, 100 carats of colour change garnet. So this is still representative of January's birth gemstone. And I think things like this are really different. So, and, and when you use them, when you work with them, when you see the colour change, I think it's really fascinating. We only have 10 left. DNX P87, £9.95. pence. You know what to do and you're doing it, Susan in Pembrokeshire. Mary of Lancashire. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Don't forget, we've got our Rose Quartz Star by coming up for you. What time's that, Danny? It's next o'clock. Next o'clock, Star by o'clock, yeah? Rose Quartz, ah, it's now. <laughs> A trio of rose quartz in three different formations. You've got a cabochon, a rough cut, and this amazing sort of octagon cut here. It's beautiful. It's going under £10 as a collector's bill. Now, to be honest, it's not the ideal background to have rose quartz on because it drowns the colour out, as you can see, this white. I could take it out, yeah. Let me see. I'll take one of them out. Oh, no, this one's open, actually, to be fair to it. You'll see a much better colour now. 
There you go. I'm just gonna pop this next to my jade. Gorgeous. Rose quartz. So you've got the rough. Oh, will I take them all out? This is back in stock, it sold out previously. I will, I will. Now actually we've got some information to share with you about this incredible gem. So just because I'm gonna be fiddling here, taking them out. <laughs> The colour of rose quartz ranges from a very tender pale pink to a delicate powder pink and can be transparent through to translucent. This gem has adorned ornaments and jewellery since ancient times. Known as the gemstone of true love, it's said that rose quartz allows you to get to know your true self and to love that true self in all its beauty. For amazing rose quartz jewellery, look no further. Unfortunately, I can't get the cabochon out, but I've got the rest of them out. You've got a rough, so it's a matte with that lovely, do you see that? That's fab, isn't it? Pure, beautiful rose quartz. A trio of them. And because you've got that rough formation, this is a great one to show your customers. You can see the imprint of that one, which kind of shows you the shape of it, I think. Um, it, you get to show your customers rough gemstones or say to them, that's a cabochon. You know, this is what a nugget or a rough piece looks like. This is a cut piece. How would you like yours? You can display these on your wall. You can display these. It is a collector's, it's a gem collector's opportunity, isn't it? And it comes, oh crikey, I am sorry. How many do we have, Danny? Comes in this fabulous little case. This is a great one if you're getting into gemstones with the kids and they're sort of getting into their gemology. I keep telling you about my um, next door neighbours, boys. They are absolutely obsessed with gemstones now because I keep bringing them home gemstones. They love it. Every day I get, when I get out of my car, have you got any gems? That's what they say to me. You want eggs, do you? On that topic, where are the eggs? We could swap eggs for gems. <laughs> we can do a little trade-off. Well, oh, is that what you were hinting at? Because I, I had this little um, hen in my kitchen and I showed... What did I send you a picture of? Something in my kitchen. He said, "Are you teasing me with the eggs in the background?" What was I showing you? Oh, because you wanted to buy a phone. Because I thought I had a phone that Danny would want. So I sent him a picture of the phone and said, "Max says this is prehistoric and you won't want it." And he went, "Yes, but the eggs." And I just didn't respond. Well, what's happened is um, they've rescued a hundred and something battery hens. Right? They've only just started laying, and they're about that tiny. Oh, now he's showing the eggs. You're showing the eggs, are you? Do you like my, my little hen that I've got that I fill with eggs? We should all have a hen full of eggs. Now, this is going to shock you, actually. It's going to shock you. It's going under £10. But not by a whistle or a whisker. You have got from the Journey Collection... 7.95. So from these journey collections, you will get um, more gemstones. So we've seen zavorite garnet. We're seeing rose quartz now. You might see some ruby. You might see some agate. You might see some jasper. 7.95. But it's your opportunity to get these and then sort them, put them in a little collection, give them to your customers, show them to your customers, have them on display in your workshop. It makes you look professional. I think it's inspiring as well. MSU P45 from the Journey Collection. I like to think we take you on a few different journeys when you uh, tune in to us here uh, on Jewelry Maker. Sometimes you don't know where we're going. Sometimes we don't know either. Uh, Sharon, you've got your shandy. Sandra's got two. Donna and Hopsh... Oh, sorry, i got itchy eyes from the hay fever. You know when you just want to scratch your eyes? Oh, gosh. <laughs> so annoying, isn't it? It's been okay. Now, let's give you some pumpkins. Not actual pumpkins. <laughs> Smoky Quartz, Pumpkin Cut, 
and I would knot them. We've only got 10 of these. Earrings. Either end of a chainmail bracelet. Are you ready for an exceptional deal? This is um, the National Gemstone of Scotland and these are 12 millimetres. So they're perfect for big... Let me drape them across my wrist so that you can see. They are actually perfect for... Sorry, Dan, I went, across, I went on the wrist. These are perfect for nice chunky bracelets, do you see? And you've got an amazing sparkle on them. Do you remember all those jump rings we had earlier in the copper colour? I'd put them in between each one. I think it looked fabulous. QMK Y14 is your item code. Are you ready? 9.95 and that wraps up your Sunday. Does that wrap up your Sunday? Nicely. Nicely. And now you can have your roast. I wonder what Alice and Terry was having for hers. We didn't ask her. We knew it was slow cooking. I bet it was beef. I bet it was beef. QMK Y14. Gorgeous. Now, we have had such a lovely day with you today. Thank you so much for your company. Um, we will be back. When, what day is it today? When are we back? Wednesday, we're back on Wednesday. I've got my son's birthday on Tuesday, which I'm very excited for. Although two of his main presents haven't come yet. So I'm slightly, uh, hopefully they'll come tomorrow. Uh, thank you so very much for your company. Thank you so very much for all your wonderful text messages. We've absolutely loved Alice and Terry, who I'd also like to say a massive thank you to. Thank you to the morning crew. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to Paul Demers, also known as P. Diddy. Uh, thank you to Dan Dan, cameraman. Uh, we've got the crew dem in, uh, in the gallery. We have uh, the organ grinder to my monkey. It is Dan. Danny. Say goodbye, Danny. Goodbye, goodbye. You can't see him. Goodbye to Bruce on the ones and twos. Goodbye to you. Good night. God bless. Don't forget to tune in first thing in the morning. Mwah. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Hi, I'm Debbie Kershaw and I'm delighted to tell you that I'm going to be back at Jewellery Maker next Monday for the Mid Show. So that's the 8th from 1pm. I've got two amazing kits, gemstones obviously, and some seed beads as well. So a bit of a fusion going on. And if you know anything about my work, you know there's going to be some flowers involved. I can't wait to get back and see everybody. In fact, if I go and wait outside now, do you think they'll let me in? Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.